La madrugada eterna de nuestras penitencias nos anuncia su fin. Cada una nació para poner fin a la otra. Ambas esperan. La vuestra duerme. La mía vela. De este juramento sea el milagro testigo. en el que yo permanezco aquí para nuestro ansiado encuentro. Herido de silencio en este recogimiento. Y entonces... Mientras la ciudad del santo nombre se alzaba sujetada por tres grandes estatuas, se oyeron los latidos rotundos de un gran corazón que emergió de entre las nubes, que resonaban como campanadas de una iglesia invisible más alta que ninguna otra, y que nos hicieron elevar a todos la mirada en una ascética llamada a misa, pues el milagro iba a dar a luz a un nuevo hijo. Hey, what's up, guys? Spanglish? Yeah. All right, so when it comes to weapon selection, if we're talking about the most efficient round, you start with the sword. If you don't start with the sword, the sword is the furthest one away of all the weapons you need to claim. So let's do that. Kick it up here, but I know there is some. I think it's a mark up here. Oh, I can't even use the map yet. Okay. Keep that in mind.
there you go, first boss. So he's pretty, pretty simple. Basically, every time he gets in the air, right before he throws the blade at you, he makes a grunt, and that's when you slide towards him. That's all you're really going to do. Pretty simple. Penitente, retornado del sepulcro y caminando entre los dolientes, vuestro despertar se escribe ahora en los pliegos eternos. Anunciada es mi nombre y provengo de los altos montes celestiales, asiento y principio de todo lo que santo se considera para poder dirigirme a vos. Consideradme así preceptora en esta empresa, originada en la más alta sede, Penitente, el milagro va a dar a luz a un nuevo hijo, en un gran corazón descendido de las nubes, que vigila desde lo alto la antigua ciudad del Santo Nombre. Debéis llegar hasta él para así detener su alumbramiento. Mas en esta ascendente vía de penitencia, os aguardará la archicofradía. Aquellos penitentes que el milagro mismo tomó como sus centinelas, ahora aguardan vuestra llegada. Orospina, de la Hermandad de los Bordadores. Benedicta, de la Hermandad de la Perpetua Oración. Odón, de la Hermandad de la Sal. Lesmes, de la Hermandad de la Incorrupción. Todos bajo el mando del penitente más antiguo, el primero que fue, Eviterno, padre de los penitentes. Penitente, el milagro ha inculcado tres remordimientos en la conciencia de tres de sus guardianes. Solo revelándolos, conseguiréis la humillación de las figuras esculpidas que sujetan la ciudad, permitiéndoos así ascender a su zona superior y, finalmente, hasta el gran corazón. Buscad a los guardianes. Solo revelando los remordimientos custodiados por los tres guardianes, podréis ascender a su zona superior y, finalmente, hasta el gran corazón. All right, so now we can use the map. So right here, there is treasure. I'm just going to put it over here because we can't put it in a area we can't reach yet. And so we're going to do that a lot. Using the map is definitely key. And there's going to be things you can't reach right away, traditional Metroidvania style. And so we're going to be placing markers for anything and everything that we need to collect once we have all abilities. Yeah, the Blood Pact is pretty great. Uh, I didn't really use this the first time through until the final boss, basically, or the second to last boss. And uh, using it throughout the game is clutch. So we're going to use that a lot. We can't really do much with it yet. We're going to make a little bit more progress.
is a bell we can't get yet. We will come back later for this. Let's get the spell. The prayer, rather. Let's equip that thing. We want to go this way to start. Just because there's a couple other things to mark out here. There's actually a cherub right above us. So we're going to put one of the first cherub markers here so we don't forget. Get some tears up front. Now I'm going to place a question mark. I know exactly what we need, what ability we need for this, but just for your reference. We won't get that till the end of the game. Oops. That didn't work. <laughs> Sometimes prayers at an angle just don't work if the ground's at an angle. I'm not really sure why. There's something here as well, question mark. It's another way to get up there, get there towards the end of the game. First cherub we can collect. Reach town. So I'm going to climb up a little bit just to get some extra markers on the map. We can't make it up here yet. That's another question mark. Yeah. Basically, what areas should you go to first? All that jazz. Now, there is a cherub over here, too. I'm just going to put that. We won't be able to get it later, or until later. Talk to this dude. Bienvenido a este alboroto de aserraduras, colas y barnices, que es mi humilde taller. Montañés es mi nombre. Maestro de imagineros. Los que con cinceles y manos firmes Hacemos corpóreas en madera las fieles figuras de los verdaderamente santos. No quedan rastros de luz en mis ojos vidriosos. Mas puedo conocer lo justo y necesario en vos. ¿Acaso, pues, de alguna manera, no somos todos penitentes en esta tierra? El milagro dispuso que, al ser mi profesión la de imaginero, tallara en la madera como última obra mía. La figura de la Santísima, penitente. Vuestra ayuda ruego disponer para comenzar esta última obra. Procuradme los mejores cinceles y herramientas, las más bellas pinturas, los más delicados barnices. Además, soy capaz de esculpir para vos las figuras que encajarán en el retablo de vuestra espalda. Como es, aceptadme este gesto de gratitud. Es solo la primera pieza de cuantiosas más que labraré para vos. Ahora la colocaré en el retablo de vuestra espalda, y así sentiréis su favor, más también su carga. Las manos del milagro me guiarán en el tallado según el recuerdo que me traigáis. Que os guíen como ellas a mí, penitente. Let's equip this first since we do a little bit more damage with it. It's the only way we got. 
que las manos del milagro os guíen, penitente. I'll probably pick up Starfield after I complete the uh, this walkthrough. It's so probably sometime next week. So we got the confessor here. Nothing we can really do now. Solo hay sombras tras esta recia cortina que separan pecado y confesión. Crimen y juicio. En mi oscuridad solo queda el llanto para mí y el perdón para los que lo buscáis. ¿Dónde están ahora los afligidos? ¿Dónde están ahora los arrepentidos? ¿Cuánto tiempo desde que este sacramento comenzó su larga agonía? Ahora que vuestra penitencia de silencios y dolores en la carne os ha conducido hacia mi sombrío confesionario, permitidme podar la culpa que portáis y así sentiréis aliviar la carga. Penitente, retornad cuando la culpa os queme la sien. Mi propósito os hará liberaros de vuestra carga. Yeah, I know this is uh, the third run through for me. I love it though. It's actually not too bad to keep replaying, so. I'll definitely note that Scream comes into play with a quest later on. All right, so we can't get this treasure yet. Boop, boop, mark it. So this was one of the marks that I totally missed my first time through. So I'm putting treasure there too. We can't get it yet till we get the double jump. Now we're heading down. So we can't get through here yet. You actually need all three weapons to go here. And that's gonna be one of our first orders of business. Nothing here but the lullaby lady. Can't do anything with that till the end of the game. Got to five, five lullabies and it takes quite a while. Tanto rostro como nombre ocultáis. No. Vuestro nombre no importa si vuestros pasos os han conducido hasta mí. Yerma es el mío. Mas esta ocasión no es propicia, pues son presurosos los pasos que mi promesa alienta e inquebrantable la voluntad que los dirige. Este odio que cubre de sombras mi razón. He de partir de inmediato. All right, so now we can apply weapon art. And I think the confusing thing is you don't get blood packed automatically. You have to unlock it here. 
So that one martyr mark that we got, I suggest you just use it for this immediately. Because now you can get blood packed, which is pretty great. Pretty great. Yeah. Crimson Rains is kind of a nightmare. So we're going to put treasure up there because we couldn't access it. Won't be able to till later. Alright, ability one. Ivy of Ascension. Let's let you climb walls. Very useful. We're going to need this to get to the first significant area. And the first boss. And the second weapon. Go ahead and equip this since it will do uh, slight physical resistance. Pretty good. Alright, so basically that's everything we can get at the bottom of this so far. We're going to continue on. There's a few more things to get in this area. Hey, take it easy, man. Just trying to avoid the rocks. There we go. So whenever you see that red flash with the sword, it means you got blood packed on, or you can use it. It's pretty great. So look at how much more damage you do with it enables. Like you just melt enemies. So it's really significant to use this as much as possible. And I just didn't do that the first playthrough. I didn't realize how it worked. But it's pretty awesome because eventually you will get a perk that will be able to uh, you'll be able to heal when you hit enemies. So it's pretty useful. them. We'll get back up here in a second. We actually want to go to the left. So this spell is really good, this prayer here. Uh, this lets you warp back to town. And it's really useful, especially if you're trying to get that achievement where you got to get to the the low of uh, Mother of Mothers in 30 minutes. You're going to want that. Let me just go down here to open this up. Yeah, I just didn't understand the mechanic. So we got the first Forgotten Tribute. That'll be very useful. Yeah, the first time it was really until um, the second to last boss that I started to use it. I just didn't quite get it. <laughs> now I do. So we'll just go through that, make sure we use the right, basically, weapon arts. Now before we go in there, we're going to want to do this room. Actually, it can go up really quick. Just make sure this is unlocked. Alright, good. Oh, we'll do this actually. Get some uh get some health back. It's the first challenge room.
So this gives us our first bio flask. Yes, I did find a really great set of resonances on my second playthrough. That's also something I ignored because I didn't get it. <laughs> but now I do. Or at least I found uh, a good set of four that make things real easy. <laughs> so we'll try our hand with that. Let's go meet the health lady. I guess we can open this up too. Alright, cherub number deuce. It's so really important, every time you come in here, you're gonna want to fill this chalice. Because you basically need to do it every time you ask her for anything. I think it might just relate to the the bio flask, but you might as well just do it to be safe. If you want to get the extra HP at the very end. Abranse la piel y las rojas carnes. Destapese la mentira que mi envoltura oculta. Pues solo soy huesos y sangre. Llénense así los cálices con los que brindan reyes y sacerdotes. Yeah, I heard there's a resonance you can get. I haven't checked which one that is to stop time on heal. I found ones that improve damage for the sword and give you this sort of... I don't know what it is. It's like cherub defense that flies around you and hits enemies. Now the store's not open yet. Interesting. Oh, bien. A vuestra reverencia nos presentamos. Somos Medardo y Escolástico. Mercaderes peregrinos y escribanos. Nunca se sabe dónde puede haber bienes de gran valor. ¿Qué puede haber de injusto o malicioso en recorrer los caminos en búsqueda del beneficio doble? El del bolsillo al vender y el del espíritu al caminar en oración. Mientras Medardo cumple su penitencia en el andar introspectivo, yo me hago cargo del comercio, sin además dejar de escribir sobre los primorosos paisajes de los rumbos tan diversos que tomamos. Pero adelante, contemplad nuestro escaparate. Gran atractivo poseen los enseres que una vez estuvieron perdidos en las travesías. Ya echad un vistazo a nuestro escaparate. Critical hits when using prayers. Let's see. This is probably a good one to get initially. We'll do this first. Get that later. Hasta que nuestras sendas se vuelvan a cruzar. Penitente. Let's just go over here. Just to open that up. We're not going to go there yet. And here we've got two things. We got some treasure up above us that we can't reach. We also got a cherub over here that we can't reach yet. So we're going to use this for the quick verse. That's going to be our B. Very important to understand the distinction that prayers you have. Single-use prayer is quick. We have chants that require you to hold down. And B, or whatever it is on your controller. That's another thing that took a little bit to get used to compared to the first game, so... Alright. So now, the next area we're going to go to... I'm gonna go up here. Oh, amazing. It's gotta be super OP then if you can find a resonance which doesn't drain the sensor. So there is gonna be a cherub up there. We can't get it yet. Gotta get the mace, gotta get the sensor. So let's mark it. Cherubs are annoying, as always, to find all of them. 
The more annoying are the marks. You actually have to find every mark of martyrdom to get 100%. We also have 40 levels, more or less. So what I mean by that is, if you look at the... Let's see, we're level 1 of 40. So you get a mark for every level. And you're going to have to farm at some point. I do know a farming spot towards the end of the game where maybe in 10 minutes you can get the last 5 or so levels. I usually am in the high 30s by the time um, I get towards the end of the game. But you still get a farm. So there's 40 marks you get just for farming, and then you gotta find the rest. And man, man, it is uh, tedious <laughs> to find all of those. When we do have something to give the sculptor, we'll give that back after we get back to this. All right, can't go there yet. Just blood pact is amazing. So also saw there's some kind of item. I'm gonna put a treasure over here until since we can't get to it yet. There's also something over here that we can't get to yet. I believe it's another martyr to mark. Which I'm just gonna do that. You can kind of see it up in the corner there. But yeah, it's up there. I can't remember if that's one of the ones I've tried. And since this is like the beginning of the game, you do want to... Um Another cherub. Number three. You do want to try to take on as many enemies as you can. Let's see what's down here. Oh, death. Okay. Well, that's not going to help us out any. Great. Pretty good so far. This is a really annoying area. You ha you need basically all weapons to clear out the starting area and other abilities. It's a bit tedious. Expect to come back here a few times. Like we are going to need a ability to do this bit. We don't have it yet, so I'm putting a question mark. We won't get that till the end of the game. Martyr mark right there. I'm actually gonna put treasure instead. Because the martyr marks, my god, they are so annoying. Really the most annoying part of the game. The cherubs aren't too bad as long as you mark everything initially. I think that's the hardest thing is if you don't mark them up front can become pretty difficult. All right, so here we've got another treasure, more martyr marks, or tears, something like that. There we go. 
as you get pizza, why not? Go for it. All right, so we got another um, figurine for the altarpiece. Oh no, instant death. <laughs> I think we can do that yet. I think we need a, um... I think we need something else. Maybe the double jump. Pretty sure. I can do it now? Okay, good. Just totally biffed it. is so hard, but whatever. There we go. This has to be immediate. Now let's clear that off the map. Of the mark. Great. Penitente de misericordes pasos. Mi máscara de oro llora al teneros delante. Os halláis en el jardín de los altos coros. Soy uno más de los santos hermanos de rostro dorado, nacidos del milagro. Oh, incansable tiempo, que viajáis sin demora y borráis el pasado, evocando inciertos futuros. Hacednos recordar cuando el milagro nos impuso su oscuro castigo, que nos impide elevarnos y viajar con los soplos del viento. Penitente, liberad a mis hermanos que, por designios de un milagro que parece sernos ya ajeno, se encuentran apresados y repartidos por estas tierras, bajo la mirada del gran corazón surgido en el cielo. Solo ellos os permitirán subir a lo más alto. Ayudadnos liberando a más hermanos, y así os mostraremos lo que la torre guarda en lo más alto. All right, great. Right, we 
We can't get that treasure yet. Got it. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Can't reach it just yet. Gotta keep going. Again, this area, you will have to double back and explore it later. It's just how it goes. Treasure up here. Can't get it yet. We need a double jump. We also can't go here yet. You can see here. Need the ability to double jump or dash to get through that. Do of an item here. Whoa. I'm just gonna add a question. Illustrate we need an ability. Can't get it yet. about through with this area for now. Actually, we are. Great. Again, I say it's one of the most annoying because you just, you can't get anywhere with it. There's a ton of cherub, uh, cherubs, treasure, martyr marks, all that. But you have to get to the end of the game. There's some stuff up here, so that's a question mark for now. Lots of backtracking here. We got items. There's actually two items. There's one on either side, but we'll just leave that for now. I'll put something over here. Can't do anything. Well, close to the second weapon, so that's good. I can't remember if there's something up there or not, but we'll find it if we need to. Can't get it yet. Treasure up here. Can't get it yet, though. We need the double jump. Another thing, so I'm going to put a skull here. So listen to the whispering, right? Listen to this. You can hear that. So that's a sister of Sauron. We just can't get her yet. got to find six Sisters of Sauron in order to fast travel between shrines. So very useful.
All right, so we got the sensor. One of the things that I really neglected the first playthrough as well, I never really did charged attacks, which are great. They do a ton of damage. They're really useful for those stupid frog things. This is another area where you're going to have to backtrack once you get more abilities. up. Do your best to just run from those guys. Yes, I do play in a band. Whoa. Going to put a question mark. We might be able to get there now. Oh, good, we can. I think we can, if I can hit that from here. Yeah, my band is Aberoth, A-B-A-R-O-T-H. If you go through my videos, you'll find some music videos, community posts, you'll find pictures from shows. And we're on Spotify, YouTube, everything. And easy enough to look up. And lately, when I'm not streaming or doing this, I'm... Uh, just writing new songs. Right, name of the game here, stay away from those guys. We have a huge area of attack. This area is pretty much on rails as you work your way to the boss. Later on you'll have more abilities and you can uh, get a little bit further. Just double checking. Oh wow, it did a ton of damage. Let's see what's this way. Oh, good. So we got a warp. Very useful. Because until you unlock fast travel between shrines, this is the only way you're going to get between areas. So definitely try to find one of these per zone if you can. At least early on. Yeah, 
we can't do anything yet with that. Let's see if they changed here. Oh, all right. Back we go. Yeah, for now we have to just keep working our way back to the middle. Because every time we take out the sand, it lowers a little bit more. hit the bell multiple times. There we go. Ah, just too slow there. I'll hit it multiple times. This will let us get one of the items. Yes, there is an achievement if you hit the bell 12 times. Oh, barely got that one. All right, so that's one quest item down. Take a time getting through this. See, have we been here yet? We have not been here. All right. Oh, my God. Those things are devastating. This one does slight resistance to mystical damage. It could be good on the first boss. I'd say it's not super mandatory, but. Oh, this is that other door. I'm gonna remove the question mark. We already did this. Getting into the meat and potatoes of this zone. So from up here, down attack. Now this is actually a pretty, this is a pretty good attack. I think it'll be useful on the first boss. Whoa. Everything explodes down here. Just be weary. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we've reached this. All right, another door. Let's heal up. So there's actually a Martyr Mark here. I think we can get this one now. There's another one or another treasure over here. But you need double jump to come back for it. One other treasure there. We'll work our way up to get that one on the right. 
Yeah, I'll say this is a rosary down here. Yeah, this is where you need the double jump to get up. I'm actually going to put a question mark for that. Just so we don't forget. slow. Let's take that guy out first. Now to get both these items, you have to drop these cages. So there's some symmetry, there's one over there, but you need the double jump to get that one. Come back down in a sec to grab all those. Yeah, see, now we can get up here. Oh my god. Devastated. Heal up. Just want to get this item. Hitting some marks early on is pretty clutch. Oops. Plus again, you gotta find so many of them. That every one you can get early on is definitely worth it. Alright, so speaking of which, let's take a look at what we got. We do have four points, so we could do the, uh, what the see. Turn it off. RB after attack, right? Powerful horizontal attack. And what's this one? Has the time required to charge uh, this? Why don't we do that for now? That's really useful. And for otherwise, let's focus on the sword. Focusing on the sword is pretty good. Yeah, devastating attack. Absolutely. Devastating Slash, absolutely. Increases Mystical Damage. And yes, from a Crimson Ascension, press RB. Yeah, so it's like, you can do an uppercut. One, two, it's a third. What is it? Yeah, third attack, you can do an uppercut. But for now, let's do Mystical. So that our Blood Pact is gonna be even more powerful. Watch for these guys. They are. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wonderful. Took too long for that. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. It's alright. So, the thing about dying in this game, you have to die at least. Well, you have to die enough to go to the Confessor ten times, so... Don't be afraid about dying. In order to get 100%, you have to die a good amount. You gotta do a lot of confessing. So really don't worry about death. Just... Do your best. Alright, 
let you lower it the last of the way. That spot got you three times. There's certain parts where it's like, this one and the dream sequence at the end can be tricky. Alright, so we got all of that. Um, I think we're okay. Let's keep going for now. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> We are going to switch to sword for this. There's another bell guy up ahead. secret walls that is easy to miss right here. So that's the first part of the lullaby. You have to find five of them. You can tell you found a part based on the number of stanzas. So just one so far. That's a good one to remember because it's very annoying. You have to go back and find everything. Especially those the very few hidden walls in the entire game. Alright, we can take that off now that we've found our way through. And this way, again, just goes back to the items we already got. I'm going to take that off since we found it. Looks like we could probably continue left, though. Let's go take a look at that. Now we can get down this way. We could not get there while the sand was high. Oh yeah, so this is inaccessible at the moment. Nothing we can do. Check this. All right. Same thing. There's a ton of enemies on the ground, so let's just do this up. Yeah, we can't get up there yet. And we do have, let's put a question mark, because you need the dash ability. Corner. That's me in the corner. 
All right. Let's get back and do it again. Let's see, we can just go this way, all right? So make sure those don't connect anywhere. They don't. Yeah, those, oh man. Not a huge fan of that stuff. Oh. Yeah, once you get stuck in the corner, like, especially that challenge, like, you can't get out. There's no way. can go take on the, the first significant boss. Pretty sure there's nothing here. No, all right, good. I'm actually gonna switch my magic because... Actually, nope, that's good. Both of those are good. Aquí cruzan nuestras voluntades de nuevo. Penitente. Hace mucho que mi vida no es sino una constante disputa por cumplir una promesa tan antigua como estos suelos. Sería vuestro deseo conocerla. Could this, you must well just say yes. I, it's not like in the first game where, you know, the, the woman who helps you can only help you a certain number of times or whatever it is. Like you might as well just fulfill this quest. Cuando aún era una niña. Pude escapar del horror de la deformidad engendrada por el milagro. Un milagro que eligió el reflejo limpio de las aguas inmóviles de un lago para revelarnos la verdad que nos reservaba a cada uno de los que nos mirábamos en él. La vieja campana que años hacía que había caído al fondo de aquel lago comenzó a sonar encrespando las aguas al ritmo de su sobrecogedor tañido. Nuestros rostros reflejados comenzaron a deformarse ante nuestras aterrorizadas miradas. Y el milagro acabó por plasmar aquella obra, aquel horror desfigurado sobre las aguas, como si se tratara de un fresco, haciendo desaparecer todo lo que en ellas se había reflejado. Mientras huía, torné mi mirada hacia el lago y pude ser testigo desde la lejanía de aquel horrible acontecimiento. Penitente, ¿no lo oís? Nos encontramos cerca de una de las formas malogradas del milagro que ansía vuestro encuentro. ¿Deseáis que me una a vos en vuestro siguiente enfrentamiento? Allí me encontraréis. Y en comunión lucharemos. Right, the boss is to the right. Let's go to the left real quick. So we get our first health upgrade right here. 
very important to get that. I don't think we're going to need it for this first boss, but, you know, we're basically clearing out as much as we can from this area up front. And again, there's still some stuff we can't find, so just question mark for now, since we can't reach any of this up here. And for this boss, I do recommend just use the sensor and magic. Agitadas nubes de polvo anuncian vuestra llegada. Polvo en el aire, fruto del desgaste de los muros, de las estatuas y de nuestros propios huesos. Tantos pecados escucharon estas piedras que no pudo sino sucumbir, estremecida ante sus culpables ecos. Ecos que no soportaron el recogimiento que les impuse y que escaparon de mí. Retando por estos muros, erosionándolos hasta que sus relucientes cenizas nos sepultaron a todos. Penitente, ahora revelaréis vuestros pecados. Aquellos que vuestras lágrimas no podrán expiar. nuke him when he's in the corner. Don't get greedy. Look at that. Absolutely devastating. First try. That's good. This is a really good boss to do the achievement where you uh, do no hit. If you don't get hit, you get an achievement when you take out a boss. This is probably the easiest one to do that on. Because it only has like three or four moves. Sé testigos de este velatorio antes de mi travesía final. Yo, Radamés, dediqué toda mi larga vida a escuchar las confesiones de tantos y tantos afligidos. Incluso después de fallecidos, podía seguir oyendo el eco de sus dolientes voces, suplicándome volver a ser escuchados. 
árbol, mas el dolor de tantos nunca logró arrancar lágrimas en mis ojos. Uno de esos ecos, de esas incesantes voces, fue la voz misma del milagro. Obedecí, y entonces me llegó el llanto. Penitente, que venís a testiguar el milagro. Él lo aquí, pues. Aún duele su recuerdo. Fue un humilde matrimonio que, mutilado de esperanza por no poder engendrar descendencia, se encomendó, desesperado, al milagro. Un milagro cuya luz parecía haberse apagado en los corazones de todos nosotros. Pues habiendo dejado de iluminarnos durante tanto tiempo, la creímos extinta. El moribundo día declina ya su luz celeste, haciendo cerrar mis ojos. Abra el milagro sus negras puertas, que yo marcharé donde espera ese terrible sueño que nunca despierta. Penitente, habéis conocido uno de los tres remordimientos. La primera parte del testimonio del nacimiento os ha sido revelada y la eminente figura esculpida del Padre ha descendido. Encontrad a los otros dos guardianes. Let's go heal up real quick. And yeah, this is going to be used for the walkthrough. I can't even get back up there. All right. So I'm just going to edit this down once we finish the stream series, and uh, yeah. Oh, you hear that? You hear the voice? So that means we got a sister of Sauron. Agradecidas quedamos. Should be good. This is my third time through it, so. Open that up. Yes, it will be 100%. Interestingly, you can hit 100% without fighting the last boss. So the last boss does not count towards 100%. I find that to be fascinating. Two endings are easy. I mean, you do them right at the end. And there are ways to cheese both the second to last and the last boss fight, so. All right, we have opened this up a bit. Actually, you don't. You do not need either ending for 100%. Um, 
Oh, that's right. We can't get up there yet. There is um, a mark up there, though. Put a question mark for now. Come back there. I do like the true ending. Someone commented on my um, Gnostic Blasphemous video, the lore video. It said that the true ending is also Gnostic, and after I got it, I have to agree. Oh. Yes. Yeah, if you want the achievements, yeah, you gotta get both endings. But what's funny is you can actually get, you'll get the 100% achievement before you even beat that boss. It's one of the things I was testing on my second playthrough is like where, what's the delineation for, um, for this? Like if you complete all the marks and you do all that stuff before beating the boss, is that acceptable? can't jump over there yet. We gotta use this guy. Oh, he's just getting cooked. Let's go this way. Wait a second. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Wait till they uh, manifest. There we go. Oh yeah, there's no way up there, right? Oh, you can get back up there. Okay. All right, my bad. I was like, what? Here we go. Wait for it. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. it so fast. That was weird. Let's do this first. Yes, okay, good. Oh my god. Swing and a miss. At least that thing's dead. <laughs> well, that's right. We hit that, we gotta walk away back. Hit a few times. Back up here, boom, boom. And we got another chet rub. Let's switch to the sword. Can actually get down here now. Can't 
get this yet. So we'll put treasure up here. Also a question mark, just to indicate we can't get it. Continue down. That's where that connects. And get rid of that question mark now. And now we can open up this area. Oh yeah, we got an asset. I can't jump up here yet. I'm going to put a... What does he do again? Let's take a look. Improves the effects of Bio Blast. Yeah. It's a definitely a good one. Let's go back. Can, um... Right, the bell's up there. Okay, so we can't get that till later. Yep. All right, great. All right. So we got that piece there. this you need the little cherub angel things so that is a question mark we don't have that ability yet and we connect everything through here Do this yet. Open it up though. Yeah, at this point, we can just make our way back to town. And yeah, we can't get that, and we'll just come back. Because we can't get. I don't believe we can get this other thing yet. Let's see. Maybe we can now. Let's take a look. Oh, this devastates them. Uh, no. Can't get that yet. Okay. can get this cherub that we couldn't get to before because now we got the mace already five down so that's pretty good let's get rid of this one less thing to worry about A save point. Let's go see the sculptor. Got some stuff to give him. En qué os puedo asistir, penitente?
Este mazo se siente tan equilibrado a la mano que parece no requerir esfuerzo alguno para moverlo. Tenéis mi gratitud, penitente. Alright, let's find a second one we got. Prove effects of Bob Blast is probably useful. Fire damage. Because our Bob Blast is crap right now, let's just go with that. Que las manos de... I'm going to put a few more points into the weapons. So what do we got here? Yeah, the upward attack. Again, I'm going to focus mostly on getting the sword OP. Because the goal is to get it pretty well maxed out by just after the third boss. Alright, let's confess. Because you gotta confess ten times. El sacramento ha sido completado. Vuestra culpa ha sido expiada, mas permanecerá conmigo hasta mi fin. Ahora, marchad con sosiego. Do we have any flasks or anything? I think we do. Yes, we have a chalice. All right, let's go get a HP upgrade. And again, fill the cup. Always fill the cup. Ahora mejoraré la luz vital de vuestro interior. Boom. Esperaré a que me traigáis más cálices. Traedme cálices o viales, que los llenaré con mi propia sangre. All right. Two weapons down, one boss down. I always like to buy whatever this guy's got before the uh, official merchant down here, just because this guy moves around. It's usually good to just kind of clear this out. No nos quedan más artículos, pero nunca se sabe qué puede aparecer en esos caminos. Volved más tarde, pues, penitente. Otherwise, you got to come back, try to find him. Can get annoying. Acercaos y contemplad esta delicada tumbaga. Los mantones bordados, los vestidos de seda. Os encontráis en el comercio de Regina. Mis mercancías son mi hogar, mi lecho. Son parte de mí como yo soy parte de ellas. Vos señaláis y este diligente brazo os concede vuestra petición. So she sells a ton of um, altar pieces. This is a good one early on to recover health after execution. Meh. Increases for regenerated when attacking enemies. This is pretty good. It pairs really well with the sensor if you want to make the sensor really OP. Increased damage of prayers, also good. Earring of regret, lightning damage, mystical damage. These are meh. This one is kind of necessary. We're going to get that right now just to really improve our uh, martyr points. And that's all we can get for now. Everything else is a little pricey, although I will pick up the um, health after execution. Could be good. Aquí, entre mis mercancías, esperaré vuestro retorno. Yeah, exactly. He moves around, he sells different things, so 
to me it's important to just kind of get him early. So we can't get the treasure up there yet, but we can get over here now. Give us some tears. Alright, so now we're going to make our way towards the third weapon. We're going to get the daggers. The mace is devastating for these guys, so just mace it up. Can't go this way yet. Tears there. Let's check up here, see if we missed anything. Clearing out this area. So there is an item over here we can't get yet. We're going to need a double jump to get up there. Is why you need the double jump. So we can't get up here yet. Cherub up there. It's good to note that the, uh, the cherubs also heal you. I'm gonna put a question mark for now since we don't have the ability. Sauron, sister. This is going to go to another area. I'm just going to get the shrine and we're going to head back. We're going to get to this later. reason being you need basically all three weapons for that area 
or at least to explore it, the majority of it. So, question mark there for now. Just to illustrate what we need to do. Oh my gosh. I hate, I hate these little gremlin guys. They're so annoying. like it'll do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens with this guy. I don't know why. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to clear out everybody up here. Got me good. She can heal. Now you do want to go down here. If you change up which weapon you want at the beginning of the game, you can access different areas and different orders, but really, in terms of efficiency, if you want to, you, you basically need all three. You need all three weapons if you want to get the double jump ability. And so once we get the third item, third weapon, I should say, And we beat the second boss, then we're gonna We're gonna head towards the Mother of Mothers. To get the double jump. Double jump is really clutch. And if you don't have all three weapons, this is gonna take you forever. So just getting the sword is a real hassle. So this spell is basically one of the ones you're only going to need. There's really two of these quick verses that are amazing. This is the first one. It's the same spell from uh, the first game. This little boomerang comes back to you. This does a ton of damage. Oh yes, you can break the wall between here and here. Not like you need to, but just for everybody's OCD. Alright, so there is a treasure here. We're not gonna be able to get it until we until the end of the game. I wanna say you can't get this either. Yeah. Question mark here because Ability. We need at least a double jump for that. Yep. Yeah, treasure in question mark. That's illustrative enough. All right, cool. So we're doing good. This is definitely one, this is an easy to miss mark up there. But again, you gotta go through at the end of the game to get it. We know avoiding it. Alright, 
before we do that, we're just going to go down a little bit. So I want to say this is another dead end. I know. And I'm very much going to use that cheese on the second to last and final boss. Because I did it legitimately. There's treasure here that we can't get yet. On that first playthrough, you know, didn't cheese those bosses at all. That was brutal. Yeah, so this is slightly increases tiers of atonement gain. That's kind of useful, but really martyr points much more useful. Let's take this guy out. locked. Can't get through there yet. We can open that up, though. You know, there's these damn gremlins down here. Always. God, I hate these things with a passion. These guys and the frogs, some of the worst, just worst enemies to get through. It's it's so overpowered. That's why I recommend it. All right, now we're getting towards the third weapon. Is this way? So we can't do this yet. We got to get the third weapon to progress through this bit. Yeah, the frogs. I don't understand why you can't stun them. Like what? Makes no friggin' sense to me. Good. Alright, so we got the warp room. Straight shot to the third weapon, but we'll take our time. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. There we go. I hate those things so much. <laughs> We're done. I want to say there's a challenge room in here, but I'm going to wait. Actually, we could try it. Let's try it. Could be tricky, but we'll figure it out. God, it's stun already. It's 
three toppings on the blessed pizza. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> there you go. Alright, let's just take a look at what Alchemist does. Recovers health after execution. Yep, yeah, we got that. Alchemist. Let's see. Increase the chance of critical hits when using prayers. Increases miasma damage. Yeah, could be useful. That wall can be destroyed. We will go break it. Lest not we aggro everybody's OCD. Yeah, the disc is is so good. I can't, I cannot articulate enough how good the disc is. All right, third weapon. This is what I'm talking about. So, you know, we're like. Maybe, what do we start? 12.45, so two hours in, we got both weapons. Or all three weapons, I should say. Whereas, in my first playthrough, I don't think I got them until like 10 hours in. It's actually doable. You can get both weapons if you just speedrun both these places. In under 20 minutes. But since we're trying to be meticulous and get all the items and everything... Take our time. Are you kidding me? Some BS. Like your uh, religious fervor in relation to pizza consumption. Very good. Oh my god, I hate you guys. The hell down. Jesus, got enough going on or what? All right, we got our first fervent kiss. That's uh, going to let us upgrade our mana. Actually, I am going to warp because I've got to heal. Then we can drop off those Sisters of Sauron since they're right here. Can travel to the city from any shrine. Let's see. That's all we got for quest items. Doing good. from Marks. Got one. 
I think it's worth it to go and get another uh, altar piece. I think we, it only costs one to start upgrading. Maybe two. Let's check. La madera cobra forma. Siento como sus vetas alimentan un cuerpo que busca ser herido con mis cinceles y martillos, que añora los cortes y las hendiduras que lo liberan de toscas inflexiones. Ok, perfecto. El retablo de vuestra espalda tiene ahora más capacidad. Aquí os esperaré hasta que reunáis más marcas del martirio para ampliar vuestro retablo. Let's say recover health on execution would be pretty useful here. Probably more useful than any of our stuff. Yeah. Que las manos del mi All right, sweet. So now we have all three weapons. That's good news. And there's other things we can do. I could do an on it. All right, so. I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of this area first. Just because there's the, the honey man. And the honey man, we can get the critical hit chance. Plus it breaks and we have to keep going back to him. It's kind of a useful thing. We are otherwise going to head south and go through Mother of Mothers. That's going to be the next major point. Actually, you know what? Why don't we do that first just to get the double jump? And then we'll return because I think you do need the double jump to get through most of this section here. Yeah, I'm really digging it. I wanted to do the Spanish VO uh, run just to, to hear it, how it sounds. I like it a lot. Everybody was always saying on, the, on uh, the Reddit and everything, like, oh, you gotta, you know, use the Spanish voiceover, it's the best. And I gotta, uh, say I agree. Yeah, so we got treasure here. I don't think we can get this yet. Nope. Ouch. treasure here. We can't get that yet, so we get the double jump. All right, now we can get through this area. This chair of seven. can't double jump over this guy yet, so we're just going to have to run the hell away. Nice. going to go to another area that we're going to explore. Not right now. That area is going to lead to fervor upgrades, rosary upgrades. But for now, we're just going to put treasure, work our way back. And this is one of the hardest parts of the beginning of the game. Because getting through mothers, mother of mothers and fighting the I don't know, Sword Boss? I don't know a better way what his name is off the top of my head. To get the double jump, it's definitely tricky. Ooh. 
look how slow he walks. Ah, oh, come on. Another, got another mark. These have to be my least favorite enemies, like, far and away. Just brutally, brutally difficult. Yeah, Confessor's great. Either, either language is <laughs> definitely uh, an odd one. He eats guilt, which is kind of neat. So this is a martyr mark. Very easy to forget this one. You can't get it yet. I have to put a question mark. You can't get this till the end of the game. It's so easy to forget that this exists. Sensor is definitely OP, well, for some things, but it's slow. You can't use it against everybody. All right, for this... Oh, no. Damn it. Let's go up for a second. Alright, this is another one you need the double jump slash dash to get over there. But just while we have this... sliding through. Didn't quite work out for me. Alright, so now this is just a shortcut. No! I'm not fighting him. Did we get further up? No, we did not. Okay. That's right. There are two more rooms. So, we got the teleport. And this is the special room. Definitely get the chime here. So, the, there's 10 symbols throughout the game. And you need to use that chime wherever they are. And after you find all 10 of them, you come back here and you get something like 70,000 um, coin. Plus, it is the pizza. <laughs> Very good. All right, so we'll just have a question mark for here just to illustrate that this is the room you go to at the end. But that's one of those, you just save it for the end of the game when you really need, when you really need all that money. Hey, thanks, dude. And this is literally going to be the, the walkthrough for the second one, so... Just gonna edit it down. Alright, and if you're wondering, we can't go through here yet. It's all warded off. Yeah, let's nuke him with this. Yeah, again, this is just such an OP spell. going to carry you through the game. 
Thank you. Thanks for watching, Gerardo. Appreciate it. Avoid him. And we got another Sister Sauron. That's also the Toe Priest from uh, the first game. It's got a statue to him. This is a really difficult area to do early, but we're gonna do it. We need that double jump. This is another cherub that is very easy to forget. Because I've forgotten it like 20 times. Also, you got a Mark of Martyrs over here. God, look at how much damage just... He just touches you, does all that damage. I'd say that's unreasonable. <laughs> if we can throw a disc at this and maybe get it. But I don't think we can get the height yet. No. Cannot get that till you get at least double jump. Open that door. Well, let's just keep going down. Yeah, so now executions are healing us because we got that perk. Very useful perk. But we can't get there yet to that other side. We did get the treasure though, I'm taking that off. And now we're through. Yes, you can get it with a spell. I don't think I can grab it yet though. We do have to come back anyway for all these, so I'll just come back and get it later. It's not super critical we get it at this moment. It's really just more important that we um, don't forget it or anything. Oh, we got one. What can we do? Probably should do something for this guy. Increase the chance, adding lightning damage. Yeah, I might as well get that. Let's add lightning damage to the daggers to make them actually useful. This will just position it. So we can get up. I think that will... That'll do it, I think. Pretty sure.
Now this... This is a breakable wall, but you can't do it until much later in the game. There's another quest that lets you get through there. So in the meantime... Just note it. The daggers never really get great. They're just, I mean, they're good. Like, I'll use them here to illustrate when they can be good. It's good for any of the bosses, no, or, sorry, the mobs that you have to jump over, and there's a ton of them. But otherwise, meh. Very meh. All right, let's heal now that we've accessed this. Again, this is a pretty, pretty huge area. Um... I know the right way is left. What is this again? Oh yeah. So now we can get this. They changed the slide attack so that um, you can only do them with the daggers. In the first game, you could do it with the mea culpa. I mean, it does have its uses, I suppose. That's right, we can't open this up yet. Not an interactive map, but um, the YouTuber Demogen. He does have a 100% map. I pinned it in the Discord. Because it is useful. Alright, we can't do this yet. We'll go back down. I think there is an inter interactive map somewhere. I did find one, but it didn't have everything yet. Like, they're still working on it. Because it'd be great to just filter for quests and stuff. Like, it'd be huge to do that. Just align this one here. Maybe a little bit more. Now we can get through. Yeah, forget that guy. Let's go. Cheese this guy. First, what we're going to do is just clear out the area. Let's see. 
also want to get the cherub. It's number eight already. locked. Now we can use this. And just use the mirrors to get across. Alright, nearly there. So this is one of those marks, you can kind of see it. We're going to do the marks at the very end. But uh, if you stay here long enough, you'll start to hear things. Quotes from the first game. And there is an achievement for that if you just stand there for a few minutes and listen. Right, so now we should be... Almost at the point where we can open that. Yay. So the next way, let's see. Let's go left. Yeah, see, those are some of the most annoying enemies in the game, and you can just nuke them. Alright, it's another item for the sculptor. Almost done with this area. Finally. Again, it is a pretty tough one. It's definitely tough to do early, but gotta do it. Gotta give somewhere. Should be able to get up, no problem. Right, now we can get to the other side. We'll come back there in just a second. Just want to get this done. All right, we will go back and grab that room, but we can't get out of here just yet. Now we got to go fight this boss, get the double jump. Take it from there. There's actually a upgrade. I'm gonna put a question mark so I don't forget. 
<clears throat> is an upgrade for the sword to get it to level two. If we just take this right, we need the double jump. Uh, I definitely like it. It's hard to say I feel like it better than the first. I think there's things that are definitely improved upon, like not dying to spikes instantly. And yeah, Last Faith does look good. I uh, will be playing that. I think it comes out right around Halloween. It's kind of a perfect Halloween game. We will see if it measures up to Blasphemous. I'm going to guess not quite, but, uh, you know, we'll see. All right, we need to double jump to get that item. We can't get it yet. Actually, I think it is a mark of martyrs. Before we go in, we've got a warp room, but we're pretty good. All right, let's talk to her. Penitente. Nuestro vínculo nos llevó a la victoria, mas no fue aquella la que ansío. ¿Sería vuestro deseo que continúe con el relato de mi promesa? En efecto, fue la voluntad del milagro la que hizo tañer aquella campana. Pero no la señora, la mujer más bella que moraba en el palacio a orillas del lago, vivía para admirar su propia belleza. La misma que ella creía insólitamente divina. El reflejo del lago en el que se miraba le devolvía su propia hermosura con más intensidad y esplendor, manteniéndola embelesada durante días, deseando aquella perfección reflejada para sí misma, rogó al propio lago que nadie más pudiera ver aquel reflejo. Al mirarse una vez más, vio cómo su rostro se deformaba al son de unos terribles tañidos provenientes de la campana hundida del lago. ¿Deseáis que me una a vos en bus? Allí me encontraréis y en comunión lucharemos. I don't know, here comes probably one of the harder bosses in the game just because we had to fight him early. That was pretty good though. Again, just... You do come early and often. whenever he lands. Pretty much jump every time he's about to hit the ground. Ouch.
Yeah, like I said, really tough to do this early, but it just opens up everything. Really need double jump. Cuán sombrías e inciertas son las estancias donde el milagro permite vernos y hablarnos. A un penitente, estamos en la capilla de las cinco palomas, y ante vos se halla la voz relatora del testigo. Todo lo que queda de mí es testimonio, pues mi difunto cuerpo yace expuesto en esta urna de cristal y oro. Volvéis del largo soñar para evitar el nacimiento. Necesitaréis la lengua incorrupta que mis restos aún albergan, cuyos susurros prohibidos os guiarán por el camino para tan comprometida tarea. Liberad a las cinco palomas y la urna que contiene mi reposo se abrirá. Despertad ahora de este sueño. First thing, heal. Yeah, I need to watch some story overview to really get an understanding. We can actually get to places that were previously out of reach. Oops. It's got cherub here. Lucky number nine. That's also one that's fairly easy to miss if you don't have a spell to get it right now, but all in the walkthrough, you should have that one. All right, before we go through there, Go back down, we want to get that martyr point. And very easy to miss that. We'll forget about it. That's why we're marking everything off. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take that right up here to go upgrade the sword to level two. Because the sword is pretty great, and you can upgrade it faster than any other weapon. Oh, jeez. Ah. 
Weird. That like never happens. That's only happened to me like once before. There we go. Yeah, weird. I wonder if it was a problem on, like, YouTube's side, or if I just lost connection for, like, five seconds. That's weird. All right. take a look at what we got for level two in just a sec let's get to the top all right so level two where is the damage boost stun enemies base defense regenerate health that's necessary increases base damage okay so we're gonna do base damage and uh, increase the base damage, generate health, and base defense. Boom. That's gonna make this much, much better. Let's compare. Definitely better so far. Six. Nice. Now I can just avoid this and get up without him. don't have to kill them, we can just get away from them. Okay. Let's see, so we can go up and around. Looks like we need to go down. There's still something down here. Maybe we can get this uh, cherub now, so let's work our way up. God, stuck in the corner. for us. Alright. Let's fight this guy. Ooh, damn. Okay, awesome. All right, we can take that off the map. Great, and we were almost though a mother of mothers. We'll just have to come back for this stuff. Uh, we could get one of these. I think we can get that one. 
Can't get this till the end of the game, though. Cool. That's everything. We'll just go grab this item and pretty much warp back. Because then we're done. And from this point, we should go take on the second boss. So that's the easiest way back. Up and this way. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's the uh, quest area. Oh, my God. And straight away. Okay. enemies in the game. I just can't get stunned or anything. It's so annoying. Take that off the board. Yay, all right, that's the gauntlet. If you can get through this, then the rest of the game really gets much, much easier. So. Back to town. I think we got some sisters. Let's see if we can get a reward. Not yet. Alright, quest items, what do we got? Something for the sculptor. Uh, let's use the confessor. We probably have some guilt, right? 2%, whatever, we gotta use them 10 times, so... At the end of my second run, I didn't die enough. 
Bienvenido de las flores de duelo que crecen a nuestras la belleza de cada brote, se esconde una espina clavada en mi ser, una penitencia que cargo con gozo, que me acerca a mi propósito y quizás al vuestro. ¿Deseáis entonces limpiaros de vuestra culpa? Sea pues. El sacramento ha sido completado. Ahora, marchad con sosiego. I definitely like the VO for this guy. I mean, the one for English isn't too bad. It just sounds like Palpatine or something. It's kind of crazy. ¿En qué os puedo asistir, penitente? Let's drop this off. Esta gubia tan precisa como delicada es sin duda la más adecuada para esta noble madera. Tenéis mi gratitud, penitente. All right, I'm going to see if I can upgrade the capacity. Yep. El retablo de vuestra espalda tiene ahora más capacidad. Aquí os esperaré hasta que reunáis más marcas del martirio para ampliar vuestro retablo. All right, fire damage, miasma damage, critical hits when using prayers. Well, that's all we got for now. Que las manos del milagros. Let's right, save here. There's a few things we can do now in town. So did we buy everything from this dude? I think we did, right? Let's see. No nos quedan volved más tarde. Yeah. Now let's spend some money. Vos señaláis. So rosary would be huge. Let's get that. And we still got enough to get a few more things. They got some rosaries, but they're kind of worthless. Uh, of these, which is the best? Increased damage of prayers, increases fervor when generated attacking enemies, reduces penalties of guilt. Oh, we can get these two. Let's do that. There we go. All right, good. Making a good dent in her inventory. Entre mis mercancías, esperaré vuestro retorno. Dash to get over to the right. We already got this. So going up here, we're actually going to be able to get another healing item. It's going to make our bio flasks even better. We'll definitely do that. I want to say this is good ecstatic novice. Increase the stun power of your attacks. That is pretty good. I actually might swap that out instead of the rare critical hit. I think I will. But first, let's just go over this way. So we should be able to get up here now. Yep. 
There we go. Oh, Sheriff up there, yeah. I think we can get that now as well. Oops. Wow, third of the way through the cherubs, making good time with them. So that's good news. All right, filled in that block, good. Gonna swap it on for the ecstatic novus. Siento una mala figura de la. Let's replace that. Doop doop. Ooh, we already got a synergy. Executing an enemy halts the passage of time for a few seconds. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's going to be really useful. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. There's so many of these resonances that you just end up with really interesting combinations. Que las manos del milagro os guíen. Well, that's huge. Way better. It has so many permutations, like... It's kind of wild. All right, let's go get better flasks, and again, we should always, always fill the chalice. All right, good. Chalice is filled. Con este cristal marco, e imbuyo vuestros matraces con la plata y la bilis. Yay. Solo el milagro podrá saber cuántos cristales han sido bañados con su gracia. Traedme cálices o viales que los llenaré con mi propia sangre. Oh yeah, doing good. We're doing very, 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 very good. Oh yeah, so now that we've got some of these things... I'd say we should just... You know, we should just warp back to here. Kind of work our way this way. Let's do that. Oh, we can open this door now, so let's do that. Oh man, time's frozen now. So sick. That is going to be a game-breaking one. All right, treasure up here. And then we can take off the question mark here. 
Yeah, we'll just do this boss. That's the shortcut for that. Yes. That means, oh no, you're in space? Are you in space? You got a sister of Sauron in this room? He's gonna drop down here. Spice commercials, nice man. <laughs> Oops. And another cherub. I hate those things so much. <laughs> They're so damn annoying. <laughs> Dreams games? What does that mean? We gotta use the uh, daggers here to get through.
enchantments. Ooh, another upgrade to Bioflask. Nice. All right. That's good for this floor. We'll go downstairs. Continue on. You're doing decent here. Moriros, y puedo seguir esperando todo lo que haga falta, hasta después incluso de que esos gusanos insaciables hayan limpiado vuestra calavera. Acabaré descubriendo ese secreto que me ocultáis desde que apareció la primera telaraña bajo los techos de esta casa. Desde la primera arruga que agrietó vuestra frente, ya pálida y huesuda. Pero por ahora, comportaos. ¿No veis que tenemos un invitado a la mesa? Sentaos, sentaos. Bienvenidos seáis a esta mesa. Mi nombre es Cástula. Pues así lo quisieron mis padres. I'll probably check out Starfield after I do the walkthrough for this, or edit that down. Pocos pasos hacen sonar las viejas losetas de esta casa. Y los vuestros no pasan desapercibidos. ¿Qué buscáis aquí? ¿Acaso ansiáis el mismo destino que tuvieron tantos desgraciados que terminaron siendo uno con el oro del que querían apropiarse? Sí, este caserío está lleno de misterios, secretos y maldiciones. Si descubriera el escondrijo del manuscrito de mi hermano Trifón... ¡Qué ilusos sois! ¿Pensáis que podríais ocultármelo por más tiempo? No escuchéis a este hermano mío, visitante. No. Si tuviéramos el... So this one, you just have to leave and enter again. Oh, hermana, tan severa, tan terrible cástula. No me engañáis con vuestra expresión indiferente, con esa serena desafección que mostráis de forma tan natural. Sé que oís mis palabras, aunque la mirada que me devolváis sea la de la sombra misma. Oh, bienvenido seáis, visitante, a esta mesa de reproches e in... No hagáis caso a las palabras de mi hermana, tampoco a sus silencios. Pues a pesar de su rostro injusto, aún puede descubrirse en él una sonrisa maliciosa. No, no me importan ya vuestras confabulaciones. Hace tiempo que una ruin imaginación gobierna vuestro entendimiento. Me viene a la memoria cuando teníais ese viejo pañuelo verde y azul, cuya suavidad decíais sin parar, os llevaba a otras épocas, a antiguos recuerdos. Si lo tuvieseis ahora entre las manos, quizás abandonaseis las continuas acusaciones. No lo habríais perdido si dejarais de rebuscar entre mis cosas de una vez por todas. Sí, este es el pañuelo de mi hermana. Cástula parece sumida ahora en sus recuerdos. ¿A dónde has ido, Cástula? ¿En qué sueño del que no quieres despertar te has refugiado? All right. So, this is the easiest way to do this quest. Uh, you can give another item to the woman, but it takes longer to find it, and... Instead, now it's going to be sold by, like, the death merchant, so much easier. All 
right, it's another item. again. Yet another challenge room. an alchemist together. Good to know. <clears throat> Alright, great. We're doing so good. Another rosary. We can take this off. Take it safe. All 
All right, great. We just got to do this bit here, and then this area is done. this way. Okay. All right, before we fight the boss, it's just war. We got some health upgrades. Yes, on guard. Pretty good boss. It's one of my favorite bosses. It's not the hardest, but I really dig it. All right, so we're going to go here, get some health stuff. So we have two health upgrades, I think. Yeah, two health upgrades. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we got something we can drop off. We got a rosary, too, but we haven't found her yet. Still full, excellent. Ahora mejoraré la luz vital de vuestro interior. Nice. Esperaré a que me traigáis más cálices. Con este cristal marco, e imbuyo vuestros matraces con la plata y la bilis. Solo el milagro. Traedme cal. All right, doing great there. That should make us very overpowered for that one. En qué os puedo. He aquí una nueva. Yeah, we don't have any of those other things yet. Uh, we just take a look. Let's see. Increases the damage inflicted when guilt levels low. That's cool. Nothing we need right now, though. Que las manos te... All right. 
Right, so we can definitely go fight the boss. Let's just check in on Sisters of Sora on it. We might have a uh, an upgrade there too. Yes. Yep, so now we get fervor every time we rest at a shrine. Very useful for bosses. Yeah, the next upgrade is the fast travel between all of them. It's definitely their best one. <laughs> Yes, that is so good. <laughs> so good. I don't want to use the sword for this because the, the blood pact is really OP on her. Qué silenciosos, qué aburridos han sido estos lujosos aposentos. Salones que antaño estuvieron concurridos por los más distinguidos. Visitodos acabaron aquí, cautivos. Atrapados, petrificados como estatuas áureas, paralizados por las mismas riquezas que ansiaban. Bailad ahora con mi acero, penitente. Bordaremos vuestra carne en sagrado castigo, en un tapiz de sangre y oro. ¡En guardia! stating. Damn, wasted. Much easier than that last boss, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, it's pretty easy streak now. Really, from this point forward, we're in good shape. Sí. 
Sed testigos de este velatorio antes de mi travesía final. Yo, Orospina, soy hija de los telares, de los mantos de oro y la fina plata, de la grana y el blanco, hermana mayor de la hermandad de los bordadores, secreto antiguo del hilo y el alfiler. A donde voy nada reluce con dorado setillo. Y mi gracia el acero no volverá a adornar el aire con súbita caligrafía de plata, penitente, que venís a atestiguar el milagro. Helo aquí, pues. Mas aquel ruego fue tan humilde y verdadero que el milagro, cuyas elevadas razones escapan siempre a nuestro entendimiento, Despertó. Despertó allá donde quiera que se mantuviese dormido y, conmovido por la dulce melodía de tan nobles súplicas, bendijo a esta pareja de fieles devotos, otorgándoles su deseado hijo. La caricia tibia y dorada del crepúsculo me invita a cerrar los ojos. Abra el milagro sus negras puertas, que yo marcharé donde espera ese terrible sueño que nunca despierta. Penitente, habéis conocido el segundo de los remordimientos y con él, otra parte más del testimonio. La figura de la madre ha descendido, piadosa. La parte superior de la ciudad, aquella separada del resto por designios del milagro, pronto se unirá al resto. Encontrad al último guardián. Sweets. I don't think there's anything else here except for this. All right, great. Really clean house here. There's, I don't think there's anything left to find in this area. So now we can get on with these sections. There's a lot over here to explore. I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next stream. We're going to go through this bit. And also we need to go through here to get to the Rosary uh, NPC, Fervor NPC. In fact, we might even just start with that because it's pretty much a straight line to get over there. But we're going to save that for the next stream. I think we're clocked in over three hours here. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's just warp home. And do we have any items? Not really. It's gonna heal in the town. And we'll leave off there. Definitely, definitely a good one. So, at the end of this stream, we hit 38% of the map. Not bad for one stream. I think I might be able to do this in three, around about 10 hours. I think that's doable. Maybe 12. So three to four streams to get through the entire thing. And just while we're here, one last thing. Let's take a look at progression. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. 32%. Basically a third of the game done. Alrighty, we got all the weapons. We're already getting really far along. Just over three hours, three and a half hours. Pretty good.
There's a couple of things we're going to do really quick. Just because they're somewhat tedious. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go find the Honey Man. Because that uh, altar piece that he gives us, it's kind of a quest. And uh, takes a little bit of time to get to the max level for that. So we'll grab that back out. The reason why we're not going to do this area yet, there, you do need dash to find everything there. And so we'll just kind of leave it for now. There's not much there, but some items anyway. All right. All right. So first, let's go find the warp. Can't make any more progress there. It's a little hard to see, but there actually is a cherub over here. See that? It's very hidden. You have to be standing right there to see it, so grab that. All right, 20 to go. those vultures. Mm, honey man is this way. me dirijo. Tras verme libre de amarguras, después de largos años de arrepentimiento, vi en sueños unas abejas, creando un panal con dulce miel dentro de aquellos huecos, ahora vacíos, de mi alma. Pero el milagro no distierne entre sueños y verdades, y mi castigo soñado se hizo corpóreo. Oh, criaturas del milagro, ¿qué queréis de mí? La visita que ha hecho vuestra reverencia a este arrepentido, castigado pecador, no será en vano. Tomad esto como presente. Si por ventura este regalo, pues esta miel que no deja de manar, podrá deshacer ese daño. Dejemos a las abejas continuar con su dolorosa obra. All right, so we should go equip that. Then we can just go back to him. Finish that up. It's a really great altarpiece, so might as well. Wow. And again, the rest of this we will go through shortly. But for now, just leave it out. Going so. All right, now we're going to go just heal up. Oops. Yes. 
to uh, just keep going. So we'll heal up, we'll add that altar piece, and then we'll go find the Streets of Wakes, I believe it's called, to go get the fervor upgrades and such. The rosaries. ¿Qué os puedo? Let's see. Increase physical damage, improve the effects of the bio flask. I would say we'll just uh, this one. Here we go. Que las manos del All right, great. Yep, so now we can go down. I think we can grab both of these treasures now, possibly. Make our way over here. Let's just heal at the shrine. And make our way down. Take off the map. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Take it off the map. Done. And there's still a couple more things down here, but we will get them later. I think I need the dash for this one, though. Maybe for that, too. We'll see. Clifford. Oops. Yeah, I don't think we can get to this, but we'll try. No. Need the dash. these guys. Yeah, can't get over there. So leave a marker. Need a dash. Alright, we 
got the warp here. Good. Yeah, it's one of the best things to get early on. Cuando anochece encima de las tejas, amanecen mis faroles. Es su luz la que nos guarda en este sombrío rincón lleno de viejos rosarios. Mi nombre es Sagrario. Anudar rosarios es mi penitencia. Y no puedo servir a una causa más virtuosa que la vuestra. Venid, si me entregáis los nudos, aumentaré los misterios de vuestro rosario, para que os llenen de consuelo. ¿Poseéis nudos de rosario, penitente? Ahora, dejad que mis manos anuden un nuevo misterio en vuestro rosario. Vuestro rosario ahora tesora un misterio más. Great. Let's see what we can equip now. There we go. So I say martyrdom points. There's two martyrdom rosaries that will boost the uh, martyrdom points earned. Those are really necessary for pretty much the whole game. The only time you're going to unequip them is for specific boss fights to give you, you know, certain uh, abilities to withstand, you know, fire or uh, mystical damage, stuff like that. But good so far. We'll do these at the end, or not quite at the end, but before two moons. That'll get us max health. So now, when it comes to the hand guy here, you want to deny him four times. Y para vuestra sed, soy el agua. Para vuestro frío, candela. Oh, dejad paso al que aún no me conoce, al que aún no me ha besado. Peligres. Que venís en busca de mi dulce bendición. Arrodillaos y posad vuestros labios sobre mi santa blancura. So if you deny him, now you deny him four times, that means you won't kneel before him. Then, after you get the five uh, fervor upgrades, you can go to the confessor. Confessor gives you a key to this door. You open the door. And then the hand's like, oh no, you know my secret, ba ba boo, ba ba boo, and he gives you a bonus fervor upgrade. So, deny, 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 all the way home. Don't kneel. Oh, ya veo. Vos estáis aquí para otro propósito. Oh, pero yo no os juzgaré. ¿Cómo podría? Mi deseo es solo el de otorgaros mi gracia, el de aliviar vuestra carga. Adelante, mi bendición os espera. Postraros ante mí, penitente. ¿No deseáis venerar a la divinidad? ¿No deseáis mi favor? Oh, ya entiendo. Es todo un acto de humildad, de sacrificio. Bienaventurados los humildes, pues recibirán en sus brazos las más altas bendiciones. It could be some kind of Elden Ring thing too. A lot of hands. I don't know if it's just a religious thing as well. Could be. Emociona vuestro acto de modestia. Si me veneráis. Recibiréis más favores que ningún otro peligres. Adelante, postraros ante mí. Asistís, peligreses míos, a como uno de vosotros rechaza mi bendición. Al parecer, mi santidad no es lo suficientemente pura. Show me your fingers. <laughs> lo suficientemente elevada para él. Mas perdonémosle, oh, peligreses mío. Perdonemos su ignorante falta de fe. Recemos todos por él y dejémosle arrepentirse de su grave pecado. Y así 
Cuando vuestro cuerpo esté imbuido de la pesadumbre, se postrará ante mí. Está bien. Aceptaré que no deseáis venerarme. No obstante, como riguroso ser divino, os serviré de todas formas. Con mi asistencia ya crece vuestro fervor, tal y como os prometí. Traedme más besos y continuaremos con el sacramento. Ok. <laughs> Such a weird one. All right. So we can make most progress through here. There's certain things we can't reach yet. But might as well just do them all here. It's not a huge area. So we'll put another question mark because we need another ability to get up this way. <laughs> but you'll see there's actually more story reasons once we get the the five let's see what the confessor says about him it's interesting already stuck wonderful oh my god that's so much damage We can't do anything here. Another question mark. They are, but they there are ways to cheese them. Using the uh, prayer that we got, the quick prayer, uh, is one of the ways. There's also another version of it that just goes along the floor. We gotta buy it from the guy up ahead, and it really devastates them. And those are the best two quick prayers in the entire game. So we'll get that momentarily. No oh god. quite hop over. Nothing over there. Oh, my God. Be able to get this now, we'll see. Oh, probably not. Try again. The ghost sword summon, yeah, I haven't toyed with that one. Could be uh, certainly OP. Alright, we need the dash for that. Put a question mark. That's right, we've got to do the... Do the down attack here. What? What? Chaboo! 
Let's go down first. We go talk to this guy. Penitente. Este no es lugar para nadie. No veis que la muerte respira este mismo aire que seca nuestras gargantas. Que pisa estos mismos suelos. No se oyen siquiera los llantos a los muertos. Pues aquí hasta los llantos están prohibidos. Yo permaneceré en la sombra tras estas rejas para que no veáis mi enfermo rostro. Pero aunque no hay nadie que logre a lo largo de su vida saber verdaderamente quién es, puedo deciros de mí un nombre. Casto. Qué tenebroso suena un nombre cuando se dice en esta oscuridad. Puede que tenga algo para vos. Si es así, tomadlo y marchaos. Yeah, this is the prayer I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get this. Let's see. This is, yeah, I've increased the strength, increased that. Okay, so these two are clutch. We're gonna get this one. We're gonna get this one. Let's save these for later. Marchaos ahora. Puede que tenga algo para vos. No notáis como la muerte nos envuelve y nos da cobijo. No notáis cómo nos seca hasta el llanto de nuestros ojos. Ella es mi prisión, mi compañera, mi guarda, pues todo lo muerto me acompaña. ¿Qué pecados cometí para tan severa penitencia? Soy la ruina del hombre que fui, con el propósito cada vez más amargo de ganarme la vida. Acabé robando de la manera más soez. Llegué a robar a quien ya no era dueño, a los muertos. ¿Qué crimen puede haber en tomar por propio lo que ya no tiene amo? Dejadme solo. Siento que algo me devora por dentro, como las moscas a los cuerpos muertos. Sweet. Get some more HP. So yeah, we can't access a lot of this yet. We need the final ability, so we'll have to come back for that. Another note about this particular NPC is if you miss anything, any quest items, he'll sell them. So he's kind of a go-to. All right, that should be the top of that. Yep, all good. Oh, beautiful. Actually, we're going to equip this now because it's going to make uh, martyrdom a little bit faster. Let me get another rosary. Put that one back on. All right, great. So we did that loop. Basically, that's all we can do with that area for now. To come back to it later. And we'll come back to this one later and this one later. There's still things to get, but... We'll just have to wait. And there is a uh, Sister Sworn up there that we can probably get to in a bit. Alright, so let's continue on. Do this area as much as we can. I think there's a couple of things we can't get. And then kind of work our way up to the third boss. And that's when we're going to get the dash ability. That's when we're going to get the sword to level three. Really be in good shape then. So, let's do it. Let's see what we got for quest items. Boop, boop, ba -do. Just the chalice. All right, let's go get that. As always, fill the cup. Yes, I do. I got that 
I got platinum on it a few days ago. That was a tricky one. I'll explain it in just a second. Ahora mejoraré la luz vital de vuestro interior. <laughs> oh yeah. Esperaré a que me traigáis más cálices. Traedme cálices. Let's get out of here and I'll look at the map. So, for that, you know, under 30 minute speedrun trophy, you have to come in. You got to get the wall climbing ability. So you come in here, right, start, you go down south, get the wall climbing ability, and then you want to get the rare that's over here that lets you return to town. Then you go up, you just avoid all the enemies, you go get the, the, uh, the mace, the sensor. As soon as you get the sensor, you warp back to town. Warp back to town, and you make your way over through here, and the uh, daggers are over here somewhere, you gotta get those. You warp back to town, go down, and once you have the daggers and the sensor and the sword, you have all three weapons, you can get through uh, like a barricade that's over here. It lets you go down to Mother of Mothers, and you just got to race all the way through Mothers of Mothers to get all the way down here. You just have to enter the boss room to get it. Yeah, take it easy, Cliff. It's very hard to do if you have, like, the ability to die once. And it's usually Mothers of Mothers because you're so underpowered. It's very hard to get through that so quickly. It's very easy to get lost. You have to kind of, like, loop around zigzag all your way through there just to get down it's a little tricky but it can be done i did it in like 28 minutes it's definitely hard but it does teach you how to get the both weapons in under 20 minutes i think you can get them about 18 minutes so it's a cool little speed run technique but if you're going for 100 percent, then you're just going to forget to put markers on things and it's going to be real hassle later on so i guess it's up to you if you want to do a speed run or not get 100 percent. but i feel like ocd people are going to be want to just you know always get 100 percent every time and i hate uh looking at a map later on being like which of these 33 possible points did i not get right you know it's, it's irritating all right so now we're just gonna move on yeah you don't have to beat him you just have to get into his room that's all you gotta do all right, for this now, we're going to go up. We're going to do this, this bit. We're going to do this bit. We're going to do all these bits. Kind of clear out what we can for now. Yeah, there was one trophy that was kind of like that in the first game where you had to, I think it was, beat the first three bosses and defeat Estrus in three hours. That was a little tricky. Can be done, though. All right, so it's going to go right over here. Yeah. No nos quedan. Volved más tarde. All right, now we're going to be well OP for this whole bit. I want to come in here. There's a couple of things that we couldn't get before, which we should be able to get to now. I don't think we necessarily need the dash ability, but let's just double check. Take that off the map. Boop, 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 boop. That one's done. Just farm them. We need the points. Oh, good.
Oh, interesting. So you hit them, and they become unfrozen in time. Huh. That's kind of neat. All right, let's also get rid of this. We got that. Yeah, the new executions can be good, especially for the bigger bosses. The smaller mobs just get, like, the little bone tornado thing, which is not so great, but... Didn't quite work out. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. All right, we can take that one off now. That's right, there's still some stuff over here. Don't believe we've been able to get to that yet. This connects through here, I want to say, so we can't get to that yet. I guess we'll just do that once we get the, uh, the dash ability, or the final ability. We'll go back for these. For now, we'll just mark forward, march forward here. You can see the city reflection in the water, but you don't see the city. That comes into play later. I love the detail in this. It's just so good. Taking this marker off just because we're basically ready for this area for the most part. There's some things we won't be able to get, or at least one thing. We'll just have to come back for it. You can hear a sister of Sauron. Up, we can go down. Let's go up for now. Come back here. Oh, come on. Ah, double ug. Okay. Hey, here we go. Let's take a look. So we got level two now. Still have to find level two for this. We got level two for this one. It's a dead end. Nothing else here. 
let's go up. I want to say there's something up here. I think it's a... Uh, the Black Riders, the Nazgul. Caminante que os desviáis de vuestro camino. Haciendo que vuestros pasos imiten mudos a los nuestros. Que no os engañen a los ojos estas nieblas de negrura. Pues es figura de la sinuosa bruma. Pagadnos con la falsa moneda. La de bordes dentados y rasgos olvidados. La que no vale y que nadie quiso. Yeah, definitely the most black metal NPC. Así os guiaremos a través de la densa negrura hasta lugares remotos. Ahora yaced en la fría piedra y dejad que la cortina negra os envuelva de tinieblas. It's also important to note. Each of these locations, after you travel with them, if you go back to where they were, they drop martyrdom points. Uh, we don't have anything else, I believe. We do not. Okay, great. Oh, rosary. Very good. We still have this. We don't have the dash. I mean, I can try it, but... No dice. So what we'll do, we'll just work back to town from here. And we'll just go right back the way we came, so. I do want to put a question mark here so we can go grab that martyr point. But that's it, we just got to work our way back. Kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? Just try to skip everybody. So we're going to snake our way back up. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, getting back to, well, knowing where to go is important. <laughs> the whole blind run was like, ah, where is this? Where the hell is that? Ironically, I took, like, the worst possible route you could take. Fought the hardest boss first. Basically made every mistake you could. So definitely a little better now. Stupid vultures. Alright, so we gotta go up. The old lady, oh, the, uh, the green one? The one with the bow? Yeah, we will save her. I was so pissed about that in the blind run, but what are you gonna do? It's the blind run. Good. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, man. A bleeding nose. That's a good one. Yeah, so obviously, this game's like three times as big as the original, so... There's a lot more to this one than previously. I don't think I can make it over there. I can try, but... I believe I need the dash for that. Let's just go up here. Oh yeah, this gets us up to that whole bit. I mean, I guess we can take this up now, whatever. This is actually interesting. Because this will take us over to the church that we don't have access to yet. I've actually never tried going this way. This will be an area later on. We basically went all the way around the lake. I mentioned just a moment ago. Okay, that's right. John Doe, yeah. Yeah, between part one of this walkthrough, and this is part two, this is going to get you basically with where you need to go and when. At least starting out, as you progress, like the last third of the game, it's pretty much one way. Only in the beginning of the game is it really multi-branching. So it's just about optimizing that first, you know, third, and things get a lot better. Now this is a bit, I'm going to try to make this, I don't think I can, no. We can't do this yet. We need the dash ability to come back. That's really what I was waiting on when I said there's a couple areas here that you could wait. Like, really wait on. There's another one we need dash for. That's a secret. Easy to miss this one. Here, another sister of Sauron down here. Another rosary. So, up here, we can't quite get over there yet. We need the dash. Right, yeah. That's why I'm at Sister of Sauron. She's close. Oh my god. Is she just over? I think she's just over there. Yeah. We can't get to her yet. We need the, uh, the dash there. We can't get over that way. We can go through here, I want to say, so we can go back up in a minute. But let's just go down. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> we'll go this way first. Also, let's take a look at... Um, oh, yeah, we got a knot. We really got to unlock that. All right, this is broken. So we're going to need to go back to Honeyman. Preferably soon. Good, we're actually back at Honey Man. All right, nice. So let's go get him to fix this. No se aflija vuestro espíritu. La miel enmendará todo deterioro sufrido a mi regalo. Tomad. Y contemplad su restaurado esplendor. 
So as you can see, it comes back and it gets a little stronger every time he repairs it. Now, if we leave and come back, he's going to start to disintegrate, which is pretty neat. He's getting a little more holy. But um, shh. I'm not even entirely sure what triggers it. Like, I don't think it's dying. It's just like a timer. We just take a certain amount of damage. I'm not entirely sure. It is odd. All right, we'll go back this way. This area definitely is John Doe-like, similar. Oh, got me there. Ah. Oh. say there's I think there's a chair here as well I'm trying to see if we can see it I think it's over there I am pretty sure there is one here I'm just gonna leave a mark just in case Unless we already got it, and maybe we did, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna work our way back up, get up this way. Yeah, just straight up. Okay, so we need to go straight across. All right, we already got down there. Let's double check. Yeah. Oh, we got a timed event. Let's get cracking. Ooh, that was close. All righty. Oh, this is where the chair was. Okay, great. Like, I knew it was somewhere over here. I couldn't remember if it was here or there. I'll take this off. This is the one I was thinking of. Similar looking area, you know. All right, let's switch to the boop, 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 boop. This is the really good prayer I was talking about. Look at this. That's a very annoying enemy. Oh, 
doesn't do a lot of good for him, but that will melt the guys on the tables. There we go. Yes. All right, now here comes one of my favorite areas. This is where we're going to fight this boss, the third regret. We're going to get the dash ability, and we're going to get the level three upgrade for the sword. Yeah, look at that. Phil absolutely wrecks just about everything. And we got another Martyr Mark. Hell yeah. say that's for the um yeah the old man you can give that to him but it doesn't really matter i think we can just buy it from what's her face so you can only give one item to one of like the the old brother or sister doesn't really work any other way uh, let's go this way for a second and we'll go back up yeah here we go let's unlock this We were here just a few minutes ago. Right, so now that whole arc is complete. Good, good. We're about 50% of the map. We are getting there, folks. Can't go up there yet. Look at that. It just absolutely destroys them. Best spell, one of the best spells in the game, like bar none. There's also a ton of items here, like an absolute ton. You got lullaby pages, you got everything. Weapon upgrades, boss fights. left first because I think it's a dead end. Yeah. But we also get a Shirab. Number 15. Yeah, we got rid of the other ones, right? Yeah, we did. This is what I'm talking about. This is where, if you didn't start with the sword, this is where you get it. Okay, look at how far away from the starting area this is. <laughs> All right, that's crazy. Okay, the daggers are pretty close. I'd say the daggers and the mace are about equidistant, but the sword is just so far away. So far away. That, you know, in terms of time and efficiency, it just makes sense to start with the sword. Basically every time. I don't know why you wouldn't. It's a pretty great weapon. Go that 
Hopefully it's... And so as we go up, I'm just trying to... basically get rid of... like, lower areas. Because we know this is the floor for the map, so it's like every time you go up a level, just keep going left and right. You know, go right. Because it's gonna be... Introversible. You can't really get further than where you're at. Ooh, damn. Like, it just melts them. Absolutely melts them. another thing down and that's all there is for this room that's what I'm talking about these self-terminate so you won't really get lost if you just try to go left to right from the floor I think this is my favorite song in the new uh, sequel Unlock the elevators. Esta corona de bellas edificaciones fue construida para poder estudiar el brillo sobrecogedor que hacía intuir la forma de una basílica que una vez unos fervorosos devotos atestiguaron haber presenciado. Nunca nadie había podido ver aquello de nuevo. Hasta ahora, el milagro nos bendice a todos al revelarnos lo que ha estado oculto, invisible y prohibido. Echad un vistazo a nuestro escaparate. Right, 6,000, yeah. No nos quedan más artículos. Volved más tarde, pues. Again, it's good to just buy whatever he's got. That way you don't have to find him again. Time doesn't stop for those things. a warp back to this place. Is 
as always, just clear out the enemies first. We should be getting closer to done. I think we need to backtrack a little bit, but we're doing pretty good here. Let's raise this up just to there. It's gonna let us get through. Again, let's just unlock the elevators. Awesome. Well, you can tell we made it back pretty far. So we also need to go back up here. So we just run right through again, work our way up. So around here, we're going to loop down and up. I've right, already gone there. Okay, great. Got the Deo Gracias altarpiece. Sweet. All right, so we got a little bit left over here. Let's 
question mark. We're going to put a question mark because we need the dash ability here. Get another cherub. And we're healed. Nope. Alright, well we can't really get to the left. Can't do any of that. Oh, there is a uh, another dash here. Okay. All righty. That's as far as we can get. We can go take on the boss. done all this. We can actually go get a rosary. Alright, if you look at this, we got the rosary, so we should probably get that. It's not necessary before the boss. Maybe we'll just wait. This is the boss that destroyed me initially in that first playthrough, and now it's like a big whoop. This just leads around. Might as well just. Oh, never mind. That is a dead end. I'm thinking above it. All right, let's go hit the bell. God, I love the guitar work in this. It's so good. Let's actually go left first. So it's over here. Oh, wait. I think this is a dead end. Let's just go down here. Yeah. There's another lullaby page up here. So how many do we have now? We've got... Two. All right, so there's three more to get. There is another one in this area. Oh my god. Bring it down right there. I'm just gotta climb up. Oops. I'm gonna raise it back up. See, this is going to take us to the boss. We're almost done here. Oops, let's actually get that back. There we go. All right, let's continue on left. Just about done here.
There's another lullaby piece. Now we got three. And we are going to put a treasure up here we can't get. We need the final ability. Pretty sure it's a martyrdom point. And this just goes up and down. All right, so now we're good for the boss. Let's take one last look at the map once we get up there. But I believe we're good for everything that doesn't require dash. Let's double check. Yep. This is looking about right. Alright, so for these guys, we should be fine. This is probably a good spell to use. And then for this... Yeah, fire, whatever. This is good. She's down. And done. One and done. Again, Blood Pact is just so OP. It's so good. You use it all the time. Especially for a lot of these bosses. Ooh, yeah. Ser testigos de este velatorio antes de mi travesía final. Mi cuerpo me ha sido devuelto al fin. Soy ahora dueño de estas carnes, de este temblor, de esta agonía. Qué dulce el dolor cuando es el nuestro. Penitente, que venís a atestiguar el milagro. Helo aquí pues. Pero el milagro 
que concede y arrebata su gracia con inescrutable albedrío, vio empañada su voluntad por el influjo de tan larga ausencia. Errando en su recién creada obra, conferiría a aquel hijo, tan propio como ajeno, la terrible condición de la deformidad. Como una enfermedad contagiosa, se extendió por nuestra tierra haciendo crecer sus semillas malditas, cual heridas en una espalda flagelada. El moribundo día declina ya su luz celeste, haciendo cerrar mis ojos. Abra el milagro sus negras puertas, que yo marcharé donde espera este terrible sueño, que nunca despierta. El testimonio completo os ha sido revelado y la figura contrahecha del testigo ha bajado finalmente. Las tres grandiosas figuras de piedra de la familia se han humillado ante todos nosotros. Elevad vuestra mirada, pues la deslumbrante belleza de la zona superior de la ciudad del Santo Nombre os da la bienvenida. Ahora marchad, que la duda no deje en vos su desapacible impronta. El testimonio completo os ha sido revelado y la, las tres grandiosas elevad vuestra mirada. Ahora marcha. Now let's go back and heal real quick. Get some flasks. <clears throat> well, that was pretty good. Yeah, that's us, thank you. Just have to fall from there to get uh, all of those achievements. All right, great. So now, this isn't open yet. We have to come back here. Everything else we need to get the uh, the dash and all that, we have to come back. Can't get here yet. But we will. All right, so let's put a question mark for now. Just to remember that we got to come back here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Well, let's go get that rosary. Poseéis nudos de... Ahora, dejad que me... Vuestro rosario. All right. Now we can actually use that other... This one to gain even more martyr points. That is the name of the game, honestly. We gotta raise so many of those. If you look at this, we're only level 11 of 40. <laughs> so whatever we can do to raise that up is clutch. But we found about over half the map now, so that's pretty good. Do uh, we have anything else? No. No other quest items. Let's go back to... What do we have for coin? Eh, we got a couple of things we could buy from either merchant, really. But in the meantime, we really just got to go to the church. Church is the next big spot. So let's do that. La 
parte superior de nuestra ciudad, la que una vez fue inalcanzable, insondable. Hades. Incontables leyendas relatan los secretos que lo alto ha escondido y custodiado durante lo que se asemeja a una eternidad. Es la propia ciudad la que se postra ante tantos feligreses invitándonos a presenciar desde más cerca el nacimiento del Hijo. ¿Qué santidad nos aguarda ante nosotros? Echad un vistazo. Can six grand again. No nos quedan más. Volved más tarde. Just to get that over with. Sure, it's so easy to miss this guy. That was definitely one of the ones I missed on my blind playthrough initially. Very easy to, very easy to miss that. Now here we got treasure. This is where we need to get uh, the holy oil. Yeah. So this is the holy oil we need for the green bow staff lady. So she doesn't die in the two moons boss fight. And so this is why I recommend, like, we're not there yet, but once we get the uh, all the abilities, you can get all the abilities before going to two moons. And so it's important to really clean up every area um, prior to that, just so you don't forget this, but we'll put that there. Because it's like the only time an NPC can die. do we have now? We've got boop, boop, boop. We've got 10 marks. All right, that's good. Things are getting better. We might as well increase stun. Oh, yeah, the four hit. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, why not? I mean, again, I do recommend going sword. Do as much as you can with that. It's just, it's going to help you out in the long run. Demented one. <laughs> so demented one is actually really good. Oh, this is busted again. So we should go see Honey Man. But demented one, where is he? It's going to increase the duration of Blood Pact, which is super useful. And you can use it in conjunction with this uh, punished one. Those two pair and they give you an effect that makes the sword even stronger. So I think what we might do is get at least another one. And we gotta repair that too, so. The hell? Flask to, uh, to upgrade. This is another error. You really can't do everything here. No, 
Still not till end game. as far as we can. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. What? Why the hell can I... Oh, oops, I had the wrong weapon. My bad. Slightly irritating. <laughs> So good. Ow. Those big guys, man, yeah. Until you get that spell, they are terrible. <laughs> hey, finally, all right, we got number two. So that's going to unlock a bunch of stuff, obviously. Uh, we don't really have anything else unlocked right now. We only got five points, which we're going to need for altar pieces, so... Ah, wrong way. There we go. We'll keep descending. Still some items down here. This is the room you can get the oil in, but we don't have the ability yet, so we're going to have to come back here later on. The treasure up here you can only get once you complete the tower, or at least open up enough of it 
once you find enough cherubs, you can get over here from the tower. So we can't get that yet either. Got a cherub right here, though. Speak of the devil. So let's drop off some cherubs because we will probably get some more martyr points from this, so let's do it. Let's see how far we got so far. Yep, there's some martyr points. Go get that. Oh, there was enough to get the second one. Even, ooh, it's continuing on. All right, let's go get those two. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, we could almost get up there. The way we need to get that secret treasure is just up ahead there. Good enough. Uh, I know I found all the cherubs on the blind run. I did have to mark them, though. There's a point in, like, the last episode where I marked all the stuff that I had missed. It took me forever to find them. It was really annoying. So I'm doing my best to memorize where they all are at. Man, it is annoying. All right, let's see. I'm just going to move this. I don't like how that's there. It's right there. <laughs> I'm gonna go for that OCD. All right, we can go up. Boop, 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 boop. And there's just a little bit more stuff that we can find up here, so let's do it. Oh, always mark stuff. Mark that as treasure. Can't get it yet, but we will get it in a minute. Nice. Get the hell back here. One of the things I really can't stand about the flying enemies is just... disappear. Ah. Just like float the hell away. It's super annoying. those melted. Melted. I know it's so hard to like, there's so many items. It's just really, really difficult to make sure that you find all of them. It's super hard. All 
right, we were already here, but we got the knot. This area is very item rich. There's so much stuff here. All right, that's it for that. I think we can go this way, though. Like, they just, they float so damn high. Oh my god. Super annoying. Yeah, the bed guy's stupid. I hate the bed guy. Oh, you bastard. No! God damn it. God damn bed guy. Ugh. Oh, the bed guy got me. We're almost done with that. Ugh. Come on, just do it again. We just gotta go up. That's it. skipping everybody. Beware the bed guy. Worst enemy in the game. Hit pop hooray. Get over you. Hit ya. Oh my god, we're gonna fight him. Oh shit! Got off. All right. Oh, my God. Freaking bed guy. Every time. Like, they're placed so well <laughs> to be an absolute hassle. I got my revenge. Revenge of the stupid bed guy. And we found this. This is huge. So now we can work back. Yay. Good heal. All right, doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Brief setback, thanks to the goddamn bed guy. Goddamn it. Good bed guy. Whoa. Get this first. takes off so much of my health. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, my God. LTR military blade. Uh. All right, now I made it to here. That's definitely one of the harder rooms so far. Penitente, tened a vuestro bien recibir este obsequio. Que una cándida voz en sueños me pidió que os entregara. Una voz cuyo dueño siempre desconoceré. Hooray. Oh, corazón que descendéis del cielo. ¿Qué queréis de nosotros? This is because we killed the guy below mother of mothers forever ago. El milagro es misericordioso con nosotros y le da a esta sombra el derecho a hablar. Nunca comprenderé qué encumbradas razones me eligieron para presenciar y narrar los hechos en los que el milagro intentaba regresar a nosotros. Pues largas eras han pasado desde que nos había abandonado. Oh, veo que se cumplió mi petición. Y aquel bienaventurado peregrino os entregó mi presente. Abrid las jaulas cuyas llaves fueron robadas. Paloma, que del azabache tomáis el color. Abandonad ahora vuestra cárcel de oro. We can go and complete that area we missed or couldn't get to in the previous uh, region of the third boss. Let's just finish up here. We're almost done with everything that we can get to, so. Stuff. We're not going to be able to reach just yet. Yeah, we need the dash to get to that cherub. Let's put him on the map. Okay. Back this way. So now we've come full circle. There's a little bit more we can get to here. get up to this next area until we have the next ability or the cherub ability so basically this is off limits for now that's the dash ability so for this upper right area that's all we can do we can go back and still do a little bit over here though
There's also a treasure down here. It's a little hard to see, but it is right below us. But we need the dash ability for that. I'm going to put a treasure here. Can't get it yet. It's another one of the ones I missed on the blind playthrough because it's very hidden. Can't even see it, but it's there. <laughs> what? I think we just found a little hack there. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, we are totally not supposed to be able to do that. That's interesting. Huh. Weird. You can kind of use it to get a little extra height, but <laughs> it's strange. Yeah, we can't do anything here, so <laughs> we're not supposed to be here yet. Amusing. Cherub. this way the way we're supposed to that is interesting though it's like is there a way to get through that faster I'm curious that must just be a temporary raise So notice the symbol there. We'll have to come back. I'm going to do a whole quest line where we just get that towards the end. Because it's easier just to mark everything than not. All right. Uh, is there anything else up here for now? I think we did it. I think there's more stuff up here, but we just can't get there yet. We can't get there yet. All right. So we are in good shape. I'd say we are done with this. Now we should go get the dash ability. Everything else from over here. down god damn yeah we got the warp all right cool 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 what do we have for quest items we got a flask we got a rosary all right let's go see the uh the healer but also i want to get some more pieces Tiempo ha de vuestra debéis saber que un hombre ciego soy. Sin embargo, el milagro no me ha sumido en las tinieblas. Su divina luz, más que nunca, resplandece. Un ígneo fulgor que perfila con manso escrúpulo las facciones. Todos los que allí estábamos nos vimos cegados. El remanente de aquel resplandor no podría olvidarlo jamás. I'm actually going to get two here. Aquí os esperaré hasta que... El retablo de... Aquí os espera. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to get those two to make everything stronger for the sword. You'll see that this pairs. Boom. So this gives us... Jalok's favor increases the strength of the sword. So hell yeah. Damn good one. We do need to get that repaired as well. Que las manos del mila. So we're going to do that in a minute. Let's just do the healer. I'll do some confession too. We haven't done that in a while. Do I even have any guilt? <laughs> That's a good question. 6%. Okay. Whatever. Alright, then to the healer. Then to the rosary. Then to Honeyman. The chalice is still filled there, that's a good sign. Yay. Traedme más viales. Traedme cálices ob. Let's see how we're doing for the Sisters of Sauron. Come on, get up there. close. I think one more. One more of them, and we can fast travel between three adieus. Poseis nudos. Ahora, deja. All right, so now we can do something. Let's see. Slight increase to all elemental damage. Fire damage. Increased resistance to lightning. Miasma. Traps and falls. Fire damage. Tears of atonement. Yeah, this is fine. Elemental damage for now. Now back to Mr. Honeyman. Dodge. <laughs> All right, Mr. Honeyman. Las abejas del milagro avanzan, creando más oquedades en este recipiente de miel que ahora es mi cuerpo. No se aflija vuestro espíritu. Tomad y contemplad su restaurado esplendor. All right, so that's going to do a little bit more. I think it's going to be at 10% now. And if we go back, he's going to be even more disintegrated. Looking good. More holy, exactly. Okay. That was close. All right, how 
are we doing for any quest items? Boop ba doop ba do. Yeah, we're good. All right, now we can go here and just kind of climb up a little bit and move all the way to the right. Should be some goodies over there. Echad un vistazo a... Ah, oh, 17.5. Nada de vuestro interés. Una lástima. I'm going to put a treasure here to remind us to come back when we have more points to spend. Got to get the Debel of the Lights. Let's just check this. Yeah, we can't go that way yet. There's a bunch of stuff here, too. Yeah. Definitely need the dash. We can't get this treasure either till we get the dash. And so we'll have to go back there in a bit, but we really just need to cut through here first. Because when we get the dash, we can do that. Awesome. We can get up here, and there should be another uh, sword upgrade. can't get it yet. I guess we have to come up from that other area. Look, so we gotta make our way all the way around and get back up there. Yippee dippy doo. Still don't have enough yet for this. Oh, we can get this now, though. Yeehaw. And again, I want to get these upgrades before I go up here. So we're just going to loop around. We're going to save this for just a minute for now. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff we can get now, but let's just hold off a sec. Paintings. What? There we go. Oh, 17. Oh, what are we missing? 17.5. Oh. It's all right. We need to grind a little bit more anyway. It's fine. Yes, we're going to go down this way. Nope, down even further below this. And then we can connect and then we can go up. Good God.
Yeah, this is the way. Yep, yep. Okay. Go through here. That was weird. <laughs> it just wouldn't turn around. Okay. Were they frozen? Did I break the game? <laughs> right, we can ride this up, I think. Can't you get back up there? It's so annoying. Oh, I gotta do that again. Should have looked at the map. Should have looked at the map. Now we can get to Bella, so whatever. Echado un vista. No nos quedan más artículos. Volved más tarde. No nos quedan más artículos. Volved más tarde. All right, can move that. We can also equip to Bella now. That's going to be our go to for probably the rest of the game for a chance. I think it's OP is all hell. that off the map now so we don't need to go that way Another one of those. Challenge room for later on. Oh, man, that was close. I was looking for. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Let me get rid of that. And we'll take a look at what we can do. All right, increases the base damage of the weapon. Yep, we're going to do that. 
increases duration of blood pact and it's only one yet we're gonna do that too so yeah now our weapon is crazy strong like this is between this and the resonance we have for uh these two my god absolutely crushing it great okay now we could go up here uh, we still can't get this. We need the ability to get up there. It's just a martyr point. But it sits down here. Oh, we've already been here. That's good. Look at that. Just wrecks them now. Two shot. We are nice and OP now, that's for sure. Now we actually want to go through here. Bypass all this. Alright, we've done good. There's just one more item there. Nothing else we need. So now we can actually do this bit. It's not very long. This is a pretty short, short area. I'll just save here. So let's go to the right first. That way, good. Now we can get to the right. This is a true, like, it's easy to miss this right block. Yeah, this boss is great. I like this boss a lot, too. Oh my gosh. That's the fourth lullaby bit, I believe. It is. All right, there's one more to go. And then we'll be done with that one. Mentally. Yeah, let's go to the right. The right has a couple of things up here. Ah, uh, we 
we can't get up there yet, okay. We need the... The other special ability there. Yeah. Alright. We'll come back. At least we got the lullaby. I think that's the primary thing. Let's hit this one a bunch of times. Oh, what? Oh, God, come on. Oh, no, 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 wrong weapon. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. Let's switch early now. All right, awesome. Go do this. We got full fervor. Hacemos juntos esta interminable litanía, cuyos versículos nos encadenan a una plegaria eterna que trasciende la muerte. Unidos a mí. En la perpetua oración. Just nuke her from the onset. The one and done. She's not too bad, just avoid her and spam to Bella. That's pretty much it. Might be easier using the mace. Let's see. I'm well, done. All right. El milagro debía crear un nuevo icono. Un icono encarnado que todos sabíamos de reverenciar. Un símbolo en el que toda nuestra fe, súplicas y esperanzas se unieran en suma comunión. Para... 
Paloma, que del azabache tomáis el color. Abandonad ahora vuestra cárcel de oro. Now we can go left to right here. First thing, ride this back up to the top. Because there's a cherub up there now. You'll see the secret room. Lots of other game references. Yeah, there we go. That's that's it. <laughs> there she blows. Okay. All right. What do we got for items? Not much, but uh, how many martyr points do we have at this point? We have four. All right. All right, so we're doing good. What is our map at? 66% for the map. We can now basically go back and get things that we couldn't get before for most areas. For most areas. And doop -a doop -a doo Let's see. We can get uh, this treasure finally. I think. No, we need the, um, the cherubs. So not quite yet. We do need the cherubs for a lot of these things, too, so we're just kind of hold off. We will end up coming back through here anyway, so we can kind of avoid that for now. There are cherubs we need for this. I want to say we need cherubs here, too. So let's look at the next areas we can get. We can't do that completely, but we can do some of these. We can also wait. I want to say the things we can get are like over here. We can do these ones well enough. All right, let's do that. Also, we probably broke. Yeah, this is broken again. So we can do Honey Man. Get his quest over with. Uh, but first, I just want to go get the cherub and treasure up, up over here. We can complete that. We don't need this marker anymore. We figured a way up there. It's just the first ability wall climbing. Yeah, we're doing really good. So two thirds of the map now discovered. We're getting into the final area. Switch this to this in case we can't get it. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Getting down almost to the final 10 for the cherubs. Uh, where's the map? We can get rid of these icons now. It's a good finally. We can do that. Uh, we can go back and do this stuff. So let's go, let's grab this and then work our way up and just get these things. Because I believe we just need one more sister, uh, Sister of Sauron. And then we can fast travel between shrines. So that'll be huge. 
Let's do that. There's no easy warp necessarily to get over there, so we'll just run through. And now this is going to be a joke because I feel like totally good. See you later, suckers. Bastards. Yep, almost there. Almost to where we need to be. Oh, there's a couple of things over here. Good. Good, good. God, I hate those guys. Well, we can get up here now. I must say that's the third one. Still got a couple more to find. can't get up there. What else can we do, though? All right. Well, we can go this way. Which is useless. <laughs> but at least we got another block of the map. And there's really no other way up there. There's nothing we can do. Nope. All right. So we still got a treasure down here. Oh, it connects over there. We, uh, we can't get to that yet. All right. Now we got one thing. Yeehaw. Let's go back and work our way up. Gotta get that last sister. So we got to go up. So. 
I think Seven, you were saying this is the spell that, uh, you know, the Guardian. I never used it, but it's probably good. Alright, now he's gonna go down, get the sister. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Hey, okay, alright. That works. Okay, yep, we go down. Cool, I think that's it for this bit. I think we got everything else. So let's go down. And are we making our way back to Honeyman? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Alright, good. I don't think there's anything else here. Just that treasure, already got it. Yep. Milagrosa miel. Será entonces cuando mi alma tornará por siempre dulce y dorada. No se aflija vuestro espíritu. La miel enmendará todo deterioro sufrido a mi regalo. Tomad la figura y contemplad su inmejorable y deslumbrante fulgor dorado. All right, that's the end of him. Now you can see this thing is great. It's gonna do 10% crit damage. Super good. That's gonna make things really nice. <laughs> All right, awesome. So at this point, we'll just warp back to town. I believe that's the sixth sister. Just enough. Huzzah. Now I can fast travel. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got? I'm actually going to... get another altar piece. I think it's five now. Because now the sword is basically... It's going to take us to, like, the end of the game. El retablo de... Aquí os espero. All right, so I know something pairs with this. Let's kind of see if we can get anything that will... For everyone attacking enemies, nope. Oh, this does something. Reduces 
If I have to start the loss, I'm taking a hit. Okay, that one pairs. What else do we got? Here's the effects of Bioflask. I'll see if anything pairs. Nope. Alright, well, whatever. It gives us something. Increases fervor when generating when attacking enemies. Improve bio flask. Yeah, let's go for that. No. Actually, let's get the fervor. That sounds fun. Yeah. So increases the strength. Oh, cool. Increases the strength of the daggers. Nice. It's good enemy halts passage of time. Sweet. Well, we got a couple of good resonances going. I'd say that was worth it. Oh, yes. We can finally fast travel. My God. <laughs> good gravy. So still a lot over here to get. But we can just kind of do that at the end. Same thing with these two areas, since I, I know we need the cherubs for certain parts of it. The cherub ability, which is the last ability we need. We won't get that for a little bit. So from here on out, everything's on wheels. Like, or on rails, rather. There's really only one way to go. We gotta go to the sea, we gotta go under here, we're gonna go up through the weird wax temple. And those are the last three areas of that. But let's see what we're at for, um... What is our percentage? Alright, we're at 55% for that. Let's see if we can get to 66. Because there's not a ton left that we gotta do. This is sick. We're doing pretty good. All right, so we can... can't get that yet. All right. We could do some of this. I know there's the cherubs up here. Can't really do that yet. But I know we can go back and do most of this. Let's see. We could get these treasures, too. Why don't we do that? We'll try to clean up this area as best we can. We just won't be able to get this block here, but we can get everything here. And I think there's some useful stuff here as well. What I recall. So why don't we do that before we head to the sea? And I, it'll be in as about as good shape as we can be at the moment. Let's go here, go down a level. Get this treasure we couldn't get before. We just nuke enemies now. <laughs> we just, they don't even stand a chance. <laughs> he doesn't even get a chance to attack. Literally does not stand a chance. It's another one we can take off as a martyr mark for good. 
Don't have any more coins yet. We'll get those soon. Basically eradicate those guys. Uh, we can get rid of this. What's up, Cliff? God, I cannot stand those things. started. Like between the frog people and the little gremlins there? No thank you. Alright. Almost 10 to go. Alright, we can get up there. We did that. We can make our way through, kind of make our way back up. I think we have some coin too. We got a little bit. Try buying some stuff from the dead guy. <clears throat> Let's just do this loop. Score. Nope, just gonna avoid these. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Alright, now that we're here, let heal up. Yes, yes, yes. We got to uh, change the spell back to this is much better. Oh. Okay, we can't do that. Still need that one. Waka waka woo. Alright. So said there's something over here I could get though. A bed on wheels, yeah. <laughs> Terrible bed. <laughs> we could do this now, at least. Another fervor upgrade. Now we can get this. It's supposed to be a really good one. 
Marchaos. Puede que tenga algo para vos. <laughs> Milkman, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Milkman was something else. Yo que cuando conseguí entrar en una casa que parecía deshabitada, nadie velaba por ella. Estaba solo. El repugnante hedor era tan intenso que parecía verse emanar de aquel cuerpo rígido. Era la habitación de la muerte. Oh, muerte que está. Le robé a la anciana en su lecho. Le robé lo cuando llegué a mi escondite. Me invadió esta terrible culpa. ¿Qué es este temblor que me trae su oh, muerte? Muy right, good. Take this off. We did that. Oh, let's get the fervor upgrade. Making good good progress, though. Oh, yeah. Oops. So get another uh, man upgrade. Con mi asistencia ya crece vuestro fervor, tal y como os prometí. Traedme más besos y continuaremos con el sacramento. All right. Let's go back to town. Just get that altarpiece. Yeah, the one with the old lady. That's what the, the guy was saying. He must have stole her necklace. And so he's like cursed now forever. Sweet. He aquí una nueva. Que las manos te... All right. So this one does increase the damage inflicted when life is low. Very good. Another one. I'm almost there on all the altar pieces. All right. We just take this south for now. You got it. Yep, right here. Now we can do the C bit. Blood pack goes a long way. Ha <laughs> 
to like undo the time freeze. <laughs> Interesting. We got a cherub. All right, so we're gonna blast this with the bell of the lights. Ten left. Ten to go. La antigua cater nunca cre. Por qué el milag echado un vist. Yeah, he's gonna sell a mark of martyr here. Una lastima. We do not have the money. I'm gonna put this here just because I don't have a space for it. Remind us to come back and buy it from him later. But we are broke. We are broke. Stone Cold broke. No, can't go here yet. Okay. The camera, we can't climb this way yet. I'm pretty sure there's something we can't get yet here. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Stupid frogs. Like that should stun them. Why can't they be stunned by anything? Yes, yeah, I guess that's why. <laughs> but they have that frog strength. that ability so much. Let's go down. I think we can unlock something. Another sheriff. Nine left there. Here comes the bullshit. Oh, 
That's a good combo. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, more health. That's what we need. Need it. I'm gonna get it now. Like, I hate this area is not terrible, but it's hard. <laughs> like, stupid hard. Ugh. What else we got? That's it. Okay. No, we're doing really good. And as always, is it full? Yes. Great. Ahora mejor. Boop. Esperaré a que... Traedme cara. She's going to start looking pretty gnarly soon. Yeah, Hellraiser indeed. <laughs> like Frank from the first movie. I can't remember the woman's name. It was Frank and something else. All right, where are we going? Boo, boo, boo. Who here? All right. What, uh, was it, uh, demons to some, angels to others? All right, good. Yeah, Hellraiser's is great. At least the first few are freaking amazing. <laughs> nice. You're raking in the marks. All right. We already came this way. Great. Marks are at four. But we're going to save it because I want to get the last altar piece. Oh, you bastards. Stupid jackass. We got level three unlocked. I mean, we haven't really put any points on this. We will, though. We will. Level three, level three, level two. That's as good as it gets. There's one more for this somewhere. I think it's in that region we can't reach yet, up in the church. We need the, the cherubs to get there. That's as good as it can be for now. Block is filled in. Yep. All right, nice. I don't know what those things are, but they're kind of dumb. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do be too clever with the combos there. I 
yeah, let's put a question mark because we don't have the ability yet. Let's come back. Oh man, he hit me good. Gosh, get absolutely blitzed over here. Oh, the frog again. That was not giving me shit. Been there, been there, but do, 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 No way, Froggy. All right, we gotta go. We can't get up there yet. I'm not messing with her. These frogs with a passion. Yes, die, you frog. <laughs> Ooh, man. All right. Is there anywhere else we can get to? Okay, both of these are locked, and we can't unlock them yet. That happens later on. Whoa! Ah. Oh, the frog, the fuck. Get away from me. Ultimate custom night games? <laughs> what? Clifford, I love the things you say. Because I don't understand half of them. Aw, oh, this rosary is sick. This is what we want to put on. Oops. Now this is... Slight resistance to physical. And this is increases resistance to all physical. And that's gonna really help us out. Oh, five nights of Freddy. Meh, I don't know. I'm not huge on that. Not really my jam. I think what cracks me about the Five Nights at Freddy thing is like all these kids who love that never like they never knew Chuck E. Cheese back when animatronic robots at children's parties was a thing. That's like when I was a kid. It's freaking forever ago. Alright, so we got four what else? Any uh, quest items? Nope. This guy's tricky, I would say. Hmm. This is probably fine. Tabell is probably fine. Yeah, we just gotta not die. I like how you can see him in the background. It's so cool. Oh. Oh, 
to a good start. Oof. Waste of no time there. disappears. Ooh, three marks. Yum, yum, yum. Give me those marks. Do I want to watch the movie? No, I, I couldn't care less, dude. I could not care less about Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Desprovisto de dominio suficiente, el milagro fallaba en sus empeños de encarnarse, manifestándose únicamente en forma de enfermedad. De forma propagaba más y más sus aberraciones, como llagas en una piel enferma, en cuantiosos lugares y en inocentes cuerpos. Paloma, que del azabache tomáis el color. Abandonada ahora vuestra cárcel de oro. All right, just two more bosses left. And then we get to the end game. What's voice in Denmark? Super Mario movie? What? Do what? I haven't watched Severance yet. I don't have Apple TV. That'd be why. Alright, let's buy the mark from this dude. And take him off the map. We can get rid of this. Boop. And... That's pretty much as good as we can get for now. Let's just warp back. I think there's still something over here. I'm pretty sure it's just a warp. Yeah. Okay. Oh, David Bateson does Bowser? Oh, really? That's interesting. Now I get what you're talking about. All right, the, hip, the dude does Agent 47, does Bowser for the Danish version of the Mario movie. That must be surreal. <laughs> All right, let's go back to town. Let's go increase the capacity. Ah, oh, we don't have enough. We need ten. Damn. Que las manos del. The house are forty-seven. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> that's craziness. 
All right, still can't find those things. Can't get that thing. Still can't get these. Oh, I really just got to keep going. We're at 72%. Let's just take safe here real quick. And let's take a look at the progression again. All right, we're at 60%. Let's see if we can do, like, one more area and get up to 66. Not bad, though. Six and a half hours in. That is cruising along here. Yeah, if I could do this in three streams, that's pretty great. God, I hate those things so much. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, see, now we're going to level up real quick that we got both those uh, rosaries equipped. Nine. All right. We should be able to get through this area pretty well. As I hit the goddamn spikes, of course. Buy a mark from who? Okay. Well, I bought a mark for the last guy, that vendor. All right, looking good here. Yeah, we can buy them from a few more stores, but they're like 12,000, I think, at a minimum. We don't have enough yet. Worthless tears. Worthless, worthless tears. Just kidding, those are still still necessary. Alright, this is good. get that initially. Oh, God. This again. It does nothing. No, I 
haven't watched it yet. Okay, we'll hit that to get up there. Got it. Hopefully this lasts a little while. Let's go to the top, work our way down. Something for the sculptor. And we're back at the warp. So that's the door for that one. Back down we go. No, 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 no. Got him in one there. Nice. Ah, that's right. There's a secret over here. One of the very few secret walls. Oh, Christ. Yes. Got the marks. Very good. All right, before we hit that, I'm just going to backtrack a bit, get down there. I really don't play multiplayer, man. Pretty much never. Go through. Oh, we gotta go down. De Teneos, el derrumbamiento de este sacro lugar es inminente. Y ya apenas me quedan fuerzas para sostener la entrada a nuestra capilla. Mi nombre es Regula, y este engrandecido cuerpo ante vos no es más que el castigo por un gran pecado que cometí en el pasado. El milagro es justo, y me concedió vigor para sostener este umbral. No obstante, tras interminables esfuerzos, lo siento menguar lentamente. Temblor hunde más estas inmisericordes rocas en mi carne. Si mis brazos cedieran al peso, el santuario quedará sepultado y la santa no podrá ser venerada nunca más. 
PS Plus is 80 bucks. Ugh, jeez. Por piedad, atended a mi súplica. Entre estos estremecimientos pude oír el derrumbe de unas paredes del interior de la capilla. Estoy segura de que un pasaje al interior del santuario se ha abierto desde algún lugar de este laberinto. Os imploro encontrarlo antes de que sea demasiado tarde. Sweets, alright, good, 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 good. We are crushing it, crush, crushing it. Oh yeah. No pun intended with Regula. Waka waka waka. All right. And down. Thanks so much. All right, sword's good for him. So easy to level now. Maybe we got our 10. We got 11. I'm cruising along here. Go get that in just a moment. I noticed the Spanish view is way more dramatic than the English one. It's not literal translation, but more a simpler interpretation of what the characters are saying in Spanish. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it's written by Spanish natives, so I think it would be, right? They just localized it. They probably outsourced the translation. But yeah, it is, it's is—it's definitely more dramatic. The actors are way... They're putting a lot more into it than the, uh, the English version, which is neat. Definitely good to see. Yes. Then there were eight. Yeah, it's just a ton of attention detail. I love it. I love it. All right, now there should be some way that we can get back around. It's back here. We take a path that'll lead us back down and to the right. Yep, here we go. For Christ's sake, my arch nemesis, Rago. Five nights at Freddy Food? What? It's a pizza party. That's what they got. Mi aguardado final ha llegado. Llevad el rostro del paño al lugar donde nunca debió marcharse. La 
estatua, la santa. Back here, right where we were. Penitente, ahora que mi rostro ha sido devuelto, puedo hablaros. Mis devotos volverán a esta capilla gracias a vuestros actos y al sacrificio de la Beata, que siempre será recordada. Oh, Regula, no busquéis más mi perdón, pues ya lo tenéis. Ahora ya estáis a mi lado. Y podéis descansar vuestra sufrida espalda en mis brazos. En cuanto a vos, penitente, aceptad esto como recuerdo de regla. Agradecida quedaré siempre. Que mi bendición quede con vos. Yay. This area is really not terrible. It's pretty quick. Doesn't take long to get through. Hey, all right. Tribute time. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything here. Nope. Just up and around. It. I wish these things were a little more lax. It's like if you get stuck on any geometry or something, you can't hit it. Stupid bird. All right, another area we can't do yet. We are also close now. There's a chair back here.
Almost done. This is another great song, too. Sure, we got this on. Yep. Oh. <laughs> this is so annoying. I know I could use Debella, but saving it. There we come. Oh, of course, because that's fair. spot yeah I bet might want to use that actually but we'll see how are we doing for quest items now we do have some stuff that we could take back uh, where is the host where are those things at uh, they're over here daddy boom baladi yeah Let's actually do that, because they're right next to a shrine. Let's go find the Nazgul. Yeah, the music's incredible. Figura de la sinuosa bruma, pagadnos con la falsa moneda. Ahora yaced en la fría piedra, y dejad que la cortina negra os envuelva de tinieblas. Let's go back and get the martyr marks that they left behind at the last place. Which was where? Here, I think. Yep. All right, now we can unlock the last altar piece. And any other marks we get go right to weapons. La escofina que traéis es capaz de pulir madera, dejándola tan tersa como los pétalos de las flores secas. Tenéis mi gratitud, 
penitente. He aquí una nueva pie. El retablo de vuestra espalda. Vuestro retablo está a la mano. ¿Qué? Proves the effects of Bioflask. Hey, we got another, another pairing. All right. What does this do? Drinking Bioflask regenerates a good amount of fervor. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. That's a neat one. We could keep that for now. That's pretty cool. Damage of prayers. Those two probably pair together. But kind of neat. At least we got four resonances. Lebecca's favor, slaughter, Chalux's favor, and liquid faith. Neat. Que las manos del Mila. Pretty cool. Let's get back. We're almost to the final ability. Something that like I didn't really understand the first playthrough. I was like, what the hell is this? But now I get it. Tables are no match. So we can also, now we can go even further with this. All right, upgrades, boost in mystical damage to Blood Pact, halves the cost of the Reaper Rosary, upgrades the power of the Crimson Slash with a ground level shockwave. I think this is the best one, halves the cost of the Reaper Rosary, so we can spam that. Oh, uh, let's see. We need to unlock a lot of these to get the... Strength better. I'm like second. Use the guard. An air attack. An RB after an attack. We're gonna turn the thing on or off. Press RB to turn off. After attack, to attack. Uh, I don't know. We'll do this. Reduces forever consumed. Yeah, that's what we need. We need to get this one. But hey, we're done with uh, that other stuff. Just sink it all into this now. Secret there. So that's great. That's one of the secrets, but we still need the new ability. God, we are crushing it. Oh, that's 
right. We need the ability here. We can't get into that yet. Oh, we can get back up. Okay, we're getting further along. Right, there's another spot here, can't quite reach. Hey, we finished the lullaby. All right. Lullaby is done. So now we can get that back to what's her face down below. Which is yet another sequence we can do. Ooh. This is teal. Again, we still got some more stuff down here. So we'll head back down. Oh my god, half my life just for that. Damn. some breathing room. There we go. Yes. That's what I was trying to do. We have to hit that. Good. 
All right, found the warp. Not like we need that anymore, but whatever. This is another question mark. We'll have to get that other ability. <laughs> this is also where I farm Martyr's Marks. We got one more. What are we at? 27. Oh, sorry. We're at 24. Ugh. Lots of levels to go. But this is just a great loop to farm. It's right next to a, a shrine, and you can just respawn them. Lots of heavy enemies. abilities. Now we can finally, finally do everything. Everything. And we'll basically, once we're done with all these areas, oh my god, come on. everybody's favorite NPC. This is the one everybody loves. The real star of Blasphemous 2. Oh, come on! <laughs> Probiotic Milkman? Biotic. Some Steve Brule there, you know. For your help. You biff the jump. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. Why can't I get up there? Milkman is making it feel like I'm unwelcome. And there we go. Mr. Milk. Penitente en la amargura. He aquí la venganza del doloroso. Mi nombre es Cesario. Por pedir que hiciera manar leche de este pecho robado. <laughs> Por rogar alimento para este mío hijo. Needs his privacy, kid. La cruel gracia se ha manifestado. Todavía puedo oír su dulce voz en el eco que busca salida dentro de las paredes de la acera. En esta tierra, el ruego se vuelve castigo. Y el ya no hay perdón para mí. <laughs> Más quizás exista para mi hijo. Encontrad las semillas de cera y plantadlas ante mí. En esos hoyos brotarán las hermanas que velarán por mi retoño mientras marcho donde quiera llevarme la voluntad del milagro. No sees yet. You buy a lot of them. So, 
It's not really a big deal for the moment. So this is the third area you get to from the Nazgul. Can't get there yet. Been shit on from a great height. Oh, uh, uh, that thing killed me. Unbelievable. All right, nearly at the top too. Oh well. Hi, uh, Uncle Polly. <laughs> yeah, I'll add it after we get some victorious victories. Oh, Uncle Polly, Polly Walnuts, my bad. This is unbelievable. Come on. I'm hopping over him this time. Doesn't even matter, let's just keep going. for the Celtics. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome. We explored just about all that. There's a couple more places we can go back to. It's like three of them. And now we should be able to get to a lot of stuff here as well. Take a little break from that place. Great. And we can take these off. We found them. Yippee ki -yay. Uh, yeah, we can really go back and just do all this stuff now. Let's at least finish this area, because there's not much, and they're all close to the shrines, and we'll head back and clear this out. We are so close. Whoa, whoa. All right, first thing, we'll go and do this bit. Yes. 
Then we can clear this out. Now we can go back. Go back up here, go to the left, go back up, go to the right. And that should take care of this bit. and overpowered now. Oh. Can I make this? I just want to see if I can. Oh, it's just too... Just, just a little too long. cleared out the Sister of Sauron, and we got the loot. That's it for this. Just gotta go back, get all this, and we're good. That was close. Got the cherub. That's what she says. <laughs> Real great. All right. I guess this is the bell for this. Here's it a few times. There's the other tribute. All right, great. Let's get rid of this. Killer. the tribute guys where are they buh, 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 buh. perfect let's just put a oh I can't put anything in but we know it's here right below the this bit figura de la sinuosa bruma ahora ya en la fría piedra y dejar que la cortina negra os envuelva de tinieblas That's it for these guys. And this is also going to open up the final bit that we couldn't access in uh, this area. It's perfect. And let's just go grab that before we explore. doing here 
Oh, we got the last rosary. No, we could go do that. Let's do that. I'm into hyper cleanup mode now. <laughs> Just take care of everything. It's actually good to do this before for this boss. Because we need to add, like, a bunch of fire protection. Other crap. Alright, so now we got the rosary up. Where are you, rosary? Here we go. Significantly increases elemental resistance. Hell yep. We're going to use that. And this imprint of Scalapendra, that's what we need as well. We'll put that on momentarily. Right before we get to the bows. Oh, we can go straight up. Ah. There's one wax seed. Still gotta get all the others, but... Yep, alright. Sweet, that's done. Now I just can do this bit. Nope. Get the hell away from them. Christmas. All right, awesome. Let's get cursed. So I read this and it says, uh, you're screwed. <laughs> it's like, you are now cursed. And we can't get the second part till we get the two moons, so... I believe we are good with this. Yep, good with this. Good with this. Yep, we done did everything there. Fantastic. Ooh, we can finally get this bit. So many marks. Sick. All right, yeah, I think this area is done now, finally. This area is done. Uh, there's stuff that we can get here. This song's such a banger. I can take this off the board. This is done. Up, oh, we can get up here. Let's go grab that. Let's 
Let's see. So we gotta go straight through. That's the fourth one of those. All right, cool. Done. Done. This is done. 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 Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Ah, oh, we can go back here. Get a couple of things. We can get this. Very good. Where the hell are we? No, I'm just gonna be lazy. Time to be lazy. Time to be lazy. Don't want to backtrack. <laughs> All right, so let's go finish Mother of Mothers. We can go right here and grab this. What are we at? 20? Alright, there's 5 left. That sounds about right. Alright, those are for other quests. Those question marks down there. Alright, we are doing so good. Oh yeah, we can do all this bit now. We can do this stuff, we can do that stuff, we can do all those. All right, mothers and mother PTSD, I know. And then we just got to do Aqueduct of Costales and this stuff. Oh God, so much backtracking. Let's do this first. Let's finish up this area. Oh my god. Take it off the board. Done with this area. And then we just got these three bits. We can finally go back and get some of the cherubs from this area. Oh man, we are cruising. Secret wall. Oh, just a few left. We're so close. All 
Oh, I can take that one off. Uh, I guess it's easier if we go up here and go down. Yeah, that's going to get us to the boss. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. Almost forgot. I gotta be close to done there. done with that. Yippee skippy. I'm just gonna fall down, get to there, go down, get whatever this is. We could fight the boss, I suppose. the boss. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, we go down, and then there's something down a room, down two rooms. Okay. It's over here. back. like insta death. Definitely not a whole lot I could have done with that. Oh man. Oh. 
<laughs> Come on. There we go. Yes. All right, that was worth it. Now let's get the bottle flask. Get up there. City, where are you? There we go. Uh, oh, we're doing so good. Looking like Hellraiser. Ahora os otorgaré. Boop. Traedme más. Traedme cálices oviales. And awesome, we are looking good. Not so much her, but we are doing just fine. That might be it for the Sauron sisters. Let's see. En contra. All right, we're still missing one. But we can get up here now. I can make the jump correctly. Ah, uh, what? Damn it. My brain is turning to mush at <laughs> this point. Prayer. Do I have any guilt? I must. All right. Spend some. Because again, we gotta do it ten times. Either this or like at the very end, I gotta jump off a cliff just to get there. Me complace. Sois testigos. No es hermoso. Una forma inmaculada nacida de unos padres con nombre de pecado. Deseáis entonces sea pues. El sacramento ha sido completado. Ahora marchad con su. Okay.
Anything for quests. We got some lax. We got the lullaby. I'm not going to do that yet. We can do that probably in the next stream. We can't continue the curse yet. Okay. Let's go take on that boss. And again, for this, we're going to change up the beads. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Physical damage, physical damage, elemental. All right, so we're going to drop this for fire. I guess miasma. What else do we have here? Miasma damage. That's probably sufficient. And the rest will help us out. He's an annoying boss, man. It's so annoying. Upgrades the boost of mystical damage. That's a yes. And a yes. I've got a max sword now. Hell yeah. We can finally upgrade some of the other things for this. Increased defense, yes. Let's see, anything about damage? No, about here. Let's see, causes damage or effect. Increases fervor gain. Yeah, okay. But hey, we're done with one of the weapons, and that's all we got left. All the points we get now just go to this. So that's awesome. to die. Shit, I forgot to change the spells. to the phase two. Turn the, uh, the floor turns to fire. Bypassed all that. Not right. That was good. Fast, too. It was only a minute and a half for that fight. Can't even call it a fight. It's just... <laughs> Mop the floor with that dude. La mirada de un inocente lanzada al cielo en busca de un atisbo de esperanza ante tanta desolación. No bastó nada más para que, 
tras grandes nubes que tornaban el atardecer en carmesí, se moldeara del propio aire la forma de un corazón. Oh, inocente visión. Hicisteis verdadero yeah. el espejismo, apoyándoos en la fe pura. It's gonna max everything out. It's a good idea, especially since it heals. You know, you gotta anticipate that it's gonna heal. Try to take it out. Fue entonces cuando el milagro obtuvo su última oportunidad. Paloma, que del azabache tomáis el color. Abandonada ahora vuestra cárcel de oro. You had more fun playing this than Armor Core. Well, this is a special kind of thing. Like, a game like this doesn't come around too often. Not knock it from soft. I, I want to check out Armor Core as well, but this is just like, I always say this is high art. That's what this game is. Yeah, the mirror is the next thing we gotta do. Actually, all right, let's uh, heal up and come back here. Oh yeah, don't forget, we gotta change the beads again. We can take off the these ones for the martyr ones because we just gotta rock the martyr ones the entire time. <laughs> That's all you can do. Okay, we are done with this area. We might as well go ahead and connect this. Uh, do this clean up here. Basically get all this stuff, and then we can worry about maybe clear this area out. It would be good to have a trinity. I, I don't know, but like the true ending makes it seem like it's the end of the penitent one. They said his penance is complete, so... Makes me feel like if there is a third game, it's probably going to be with, like, Chrysanta. I made a post, uh, or I replied to somebody on Reddit talking about the ending, and it was like, uh, if there's DLC or something, hopefully we get to play as, like, Chrysanta. Um, and maybe she's in hell because she sacrificed herself or something. You know, she killed herself before Everturno. And I'm like, that would be a cool game if you play as Chrysanta in whatever version of hell uh this, that's in the blasphemous world like the the nine circles like dante's inferno with Crisanta would be pretty dope that'd be a dope third game if the penitent one is totally done for you know but that would be killer i'm sure there will be i mean this seems to be a banger right like they're making i don't know, selling like millions of copies they really hit something special here Tente. Salís de la torre que se ha creído cercenada desde siempre. Mas unos pocos sabemos que en realidad fue el milagro quien la clavó profunda boca abajo. Echad un vistazo a nuestro escaparate. No nos quedan más artículos. Volved más tarde. All right, another one. We're already at three wax seeds. Oh. I know for the first game they sold like, I think about between one and three million copies, which is crazy good. And so for this one, I'm assuming it's pretty, pretty great. I mean, the reception's huge. Got high marks across the board from everybody. I don't think anybody's played this game just like, it sucks. <laughs> Nobody's done that. That's right, we can go up here.
Well, yeah, of course, like, a sequel's gonna be similar. But it's just so much bigger in scope. Like, this is three times the size of Blasphemous 1, at least. The lantern swinging guy? Yeah, yeah, there's some people who love lantern jumping. And they're, like, disappointed that that didn't, that didn't make a return. I think 99% of everybody else is like, thank God. <laughs> I'm done with lantern jumping. Never want to do that again. We already got five marks again. Fervor gain causes damage. What do we got here? Aerial ignition. Increase the base damage. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this thing's going to hit harder. This was easier to me. Here's the thing about how this one was, right? It was, it's easier if you know all the mechanics. This game is easier than the first one if you use like the blood pact and you use basically the weapon arts like crazy. I didn't really get it the first time through. I didn't understand like, what am I doing with this? And so I didn't really use it and it kicked my ass. And that game forces you to use, you know, blood pact or something by the final or second last boss. So, so yeah, it's, it can be easier if you learn everything there is to it and you basically min-max the whole time, which is fine. Because everybody loves to min-max in these games, so. All right, let's go back. Let's just race back because there's another cherub over here. The thing that I love is just that they give you a bunch of weapons, but they're all useful. Like, you want to use them for different scenarios. You want to use them for different enemies. It's kind of like the Doom... Doom Eternal, Doom 2016. They fall to suit. So you're not, like, super vested in one weapon. I mean, you can. I still recommend you use the sword to start and basically use that as the... your main weapon, but... I mean, if you do the preferences, you just you do whatever. Yeah, let's make sure our prayers are good. What do we got? Yeah, that's fine. good with the cherubs, man. <laughs> like, really good. Yeah, we must only be missing one, and it's gotta be here, because the other ones... Let me get rid of this, too. The other two are in um, two moons. Mirror jumps the sword, like, club 99%, yeah. So OP, the lightning buff, I used it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, and I think that's the point, is like, you learn how to experiment and just kick the crap out of this game. <laughs> like, you do so good. Because it gives you more tools, because it gives you more ways to play. And I think that's awesome. I think that's how it should be. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you want to do. I know there's at least a few more things here. So, let, all right, so we got one, two... I guess every other area is done, huh? We're all good. I'll go with all this. All right. Uh, I guess we can go complete this now. What do we have for quest items? We do have one more fervor upgrade. It's pretty good. Let's go back to town and then just kind of clear out all this. We'll go do this. Eh, I guess we'll just go up here and do this. Whatever.
did we do this yet? Okay, here we go. They did a great job of that. Like, you'll find a good weapon. That really makes sense to your playstyle. Great because you should probably use a bunch of them, but... But it's great. I don't know, I just... I love this game. I just love having more of it. I love having more to explore. I love having really good bosses. I love the art design. I love the music. This game was like sensory overload. <laughs> it's a beast for the senses, it really is. We need Chrysanth. I know, I want Chrysanth. Chrysanth the DLC will be sick. Just something, like we're talking about in the third game. But yeah, it's already one of my favorite games, I agree. Mis manos alcance alejan. Ahora pertenece más al milagro. It is, yeah. All right. Mirad estos bellos óleos. Sus colores parecen estar llenos de vida. Tenéis mi gratitud, penitente. You're doing good. I mean. Uh, we still got a few more of these to go, but nearly there. Que las manos del uh, let's go check on the uh, Sisters of Sauron. Because I think we might have got them. I might have that done. We did it. We did it. Nice. Hermanas, agradecidas. Viaje. Muy lejos. Muy lejos. Back to Mordor. <laughs> Alright, that's huge because So what are we doing here for resonances? This one is doing increases the strength of that thing. Boff last, regenerate fervor. I need to figure out what resonance I had. There was another one that paired with one of these. I gotta look at my last save. Figure out what ones I used, but. But hey, it's good for now. What else we got for quests? Oop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, fervor. Let's go do that. Because that might be the last one. I don't know. Maybe. I think there's one more in two moons. Pretty sure. Yeah, no, don't kneel for the fervor guy. Con mi asistencia ya crece vuestro fervor, tal y como os prometí. Traedme más besos y continuaremos con el sacramento. There's definitely one more of those. We still gotta do the challenge rooms down here. We gotta give the lullaby to what's her face. So there's a few more things to do. We'll put a marker for what's her face just so we know to go there. 
put a marker for what's your face over here so we can go there because we are almost almost done with that uh i want to clear out the sea level because i don't want to ever go there again and then we'll clear this out because there's a lot of treasure maybe a cherub what i would assume oh we got one over here too oh wow that's the last cherub to get 31 because there's two cherubs in two moons so let's do that we'll clear out the remaining three areas right and then that'll probably call it for the stream we're 85 percent of the map so hold on i just want to take a look at where we're at um with progress Ooh, 75 percent. we went a little less I was going for 66 tonight. We went to 75 in 8 hours. 8 hours on the dot. 25% left to go. Two more areas left. One more significant area. Man, we are crushing it in this playthrough. But I want to... My OCD is going to be like, just clean this up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the C1 because there's only two here. And we're going to start here. right across. Also, what level are we now? We are 26. We have 14 levels, man. Yeah, we did all that. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do some farming when we get close to the end. But... Still got a ways to go. That door is open. I'm actually going to move this to here. We're going to go back. Yeah, we go back two rooms, and I think we can get up there now. that guy right there. All right, we got the mark. One last thing over here. Not dealing with the frogs. No way. No how. Oh my god. That should be the fourth or fifth one, so we're basically done with that quest. So we'll do all the challenge rooms. It's something we'll do in the next stream. I still need to do one more, but I want to finish this up as much as possible. Really good. Eight hours, though. Eight hours, I think, is a good good time for where we're at. Given how much backtracking you need to do, everything else. 
Yeah, we'll just go back to where we came. It's the fastest way to... What am I doing? I am not going to backtrack here. We're, we gotta go back to this. Boop, boop. C's done. That place is done. So we have two more areas to clear out. Let's do, um... Let's do this. Because we can actually get... We can get all the way up there now. Why don't we do that to start? Let's go here real quick. So she could us almost to the top of this. We still got a few more left, but see, that's the one we can take now. Ooh, we can get some more martyr points. Perfecto. El camino a lo no dejéis que. I like that the dialogue changes depending upon how many you've given him. It's like, oh, you're so close. So close, penitento. Take this off the board. Hell yeah. And we'll go over here. We'll grab the oil just so we don't forget. Yeah, it's pretty great. Pretty great. for that NPC. So that's good. Now she's not going to die. Let's take that off the map. Boom. Boom. All right, let's warp there. We'll go up. Because there's some stuff here. And then... Uh, I guess we can just go straight across. Get the final stuff up there. Last cherub. For, well, for the entire thing, just about. There's two in here, so... Literally, we found all of them that we could find, you know what I mean? Alright, so there's something up here. Oh, ho Well, we're gonna... Let's... Exchange that right away. I want to say there's one more in two moons, but con mi asistencia ya crece vuestro fervor, tal y como os prometí. Traedme más besos. Okay, there's still one more. When we get the fifth one, then we can go to the Confessor. Confessor will tell us what's up with that guy. And then we're good. All right, so we just got that. Take that off the map. All right, 
so boop 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 boop. Gone. Go to the left. I love that uppercut. That was such a cool move. Easily one of the most hidden items. Very easy to miss. Alright, cool. We're done with that sign. Now I can just run straight across. The other thing about this game, it's such a test of memory. Like, this is my third time through it. I played a second time off stream just to try to memorize as much as I could. And find, like, what's the best way to start? All that jazz. Eh, I'll just skip this guy. I don't care. Now, oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh. Now that's a sight. Because this is the point at which you can have 31 of 33. That's the most you can have. My god, look at this pretty map. <laughs> Everything's looking good. Yeah, all the Sisters of Sauron are done. Like, we, we have kicked the crap out of this game today. Hell yeah. Only one more stream and that's going to be it. Wrap it up, but let's keep finding the remaining items. We gotta go up and around, up and around. Yeah, you have to go around. You can't break it until you go up here. But first we're going here to go get the last weapon upgrade. Oh yeah. It, all weapons are unlocked. Level three, level three, level three. Well, this one is going to take us quite a while. <laughs> we don't have much for that. Uh, we can do the ones that'll like get us better damage. Once this unlocks the second one, sure. Increases the gain, yeah. Unlocks the third one, yeah, why not? Cool. Great, we can get rid of this question mark because now we're up here. What? 
Oh, oh yes. Look at that is I think it's the last shard we need. Yeah, where was that floor? I think we can take everything out. I already got it. Did we get it? I think we did. All right. Okay, it's right here. It's just a shortcut, but we'll go back up and just drop down and get it. Just for uh, the sake of completion and OCD and everything else. Ta-da! All right. Done. Still pretty good. Even on a low level, if you just like pump the hell out of the lightning, it's pretty great. Let's go get that healing item. Are we done with that church up there? We're done. Ooh, that feels good. One more area to go through, and then I'm, I'm calling it a night. <laughs> I can play it for like five hours. It's a hell of a part, too. Still good there. She's looking great. Con este cristal marco, e imbuyo vuestros matraces con la plata y la bilis. Oh yeah. Una marca más en vuestros frascos. That's it for the shards. Yep, so we got one more chalice, one more receptacle. Pretty sure those are in two moons. Actually, they could be in the, the last area we need. <laughs> what face? <laughs> oh, we're doing so good. Let's just double check everything. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep. Boop, 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 beep, bop, beep, ba deep, boop, ba doop. All right, let's get rid of all these stupid items that we could not get before. I guess we'll start here and just kind of work our way. We'll work our way around. We've got to basically go through this whole area again, but. I mean, at this point, they're all chumps. This is going to take like no time. Yeah, the question marks down here, this is the, uh, there's another square here, but we have to continue on with the curse quest. We can't do that till we get through two moons. And this is just where you go for the, uh, the symbols. It's more of a reminder for everybody. We got to find the 10 symbols. That's another thing I'm going to do before the next stream is just like mark all that crap on the map and we'll go to it and find it. Cause you just have to look it up. Like you're not going to find it organically. A lot of these things. So. All right. You bastard.
a bell down here. Why do I have these, but no bell? What in the world? There's no bell over there. Where is it? Where is the bell? There we go. Come on. I hate when, like, the down attack doesn't quite register. Great. Excellent. Excellent analysis there, Mr. Remorse. All right, we'll go this way and then bada boom, bada boom. Great. Now that's all I'm going to think of the mess. Good job. Where's the bell? Can go down a room. Yeah, down here. to yours. That's great. That ability is excellent. That's the last thing the sculptor needs, I want to say. All right, take this off. Excellent. A couple things here. And we're getting another mark. Look at that.
Oh shit. Oh, I can't get the double jump. It's like not working. weird. I guess there's something down there. I just can't get over there. Maybe we already got it. Let's just double check. Do not want to have to do this again. It's got to be talking about this. Yeah, we got that. All right. All right. Boop, 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 boop. room? Not really. Looks like it's the room over. I'm just gonna go up. Wrecked. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, there's something we can do here. Is. You can kind of see it up there. You know, we'll come back for that. Uh, what do I want to use for marks or whatever that is? I guess we'll just use uh, blue. Let's use blue for the marks. It'll save me from having to do that later. Alright, this area is done. We've got to snake our way back around. A couple more rooms. We get up this way. Ow. Let's 
I'm gonna double check. We got this shrine, whatever this is. Yeah, it's just the shrine. Okay. treasure finally. Get rid of this. Ba-boom. That's what I was trying to say is there was that there. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's something in this room too. Okay. Got it. Jeez. So we got one, two, three, four. There's two more of them. I think they're in the next couple areas. We're getting there on the beads. Yeah, what do we got for? Blah, 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 blah. We got four of these. All right. So I want to boost the damage on this. I can't remember which is which. Let's do this one, this one. Increase the base damage, yes. Increases damage when counter-striking with any weapon. Oh, we need that one. That's a great one to get. Since we're done here, let's go to... Where the hell is it? Oh, I already had that on. Oops. Now let's change that back. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's take a look. We're at 31 and 33. I think we found every martyr mark that we can so far. Oh, sweet Christmas. All right. So we got to do the challenge rooms. We got to do the lullaby dream thing. That's really it. Did we find any more items? 
Oh, we can give something to the... This dude. La aspereza se hace tersura. La madera se hace piel. Oh, estos barnices, como lágrimas de rocío, le darán el brillo más puro. Tenéis mi gratitud, penitente. Ahora dejadme que le dé los últimos retoques. I think he's done. I might need to like leave and come back. Let's see. Yep. Ooh, five marks right right from that. Hell yeah. Penitente, mi nombre es Venerada. Hija del maestro Montañés. Mi padre ahora reposa su espalda y sus cansadas manos, aunque el milagro le dé cobijo en su merecida gloria. Yo, siguiendo sus pasos como aprendiz del bello oficio, y como agradecimiento por haber ayudado a mi padre en la finalización de su última y más notable obra, con es lo que él hubiera querido. El milagro os guarda. She should be here now. Let's see. Yep. A vuestro servicio. El milagro es Yes. Now we can do the altar from here. Altar pieces right from here. Yay, 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 yay. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, there's really not a ton left then. The final two pieces for health we get from the challenge rooms. There's one more fervor upgrade in here, two more of those uh, cherubs and two moons. And I think that's it. And maybe some more martyr points strewn about. But we still got a lot to go, right? Like, what are we at? We're only at 20, so we need 13. We get 13 more just from leveling, just fighting. So, probably gonna have to farm like always. Nothing we can really do there. But okay. Awesome. I think that's gonna do it for today's stream. That was a hell of a lot. <laughs> Let's see what uh, the percentage is, though. All right, we're at 78. 78. Again, there's two more sections, some other things to do, wrapping up quests and all that junk. But just under nine hours, 80%. That's pretty good. Pretty good time. And now that we don't have to do a lot of the backtracking, most of that's done. So we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I got tomorrow off. Uh, you know, it's Labor Day. Definitely do a stream tomorrow. I don't think it'll take nearly as long. Probably two hours, maybe three. And then we'll be wrapped up. We only got one more uh, Dove boss, and then we have the final bosses, so... Hell yeah. What's up, Seven? How you doing? All right, the first order of business. I committed the most grievous of sins. Mr. Rosary up here. We found the room, I just... I guess I forgot to mark it as uh, an item. We need the dash ability. Must not have it at the time. Let's go get that. Then I double checked everything, and I believe that's it. That's the only thing we missed. Of all the collectibles, we just screwed up once. Not too bad. Up and to the little left. Yeah. 
It's, the, it's below mother. Double jump is in the area right below mother mothers. Ooh, what does this do again? Well, let's take it off the map. Let's take a look. That could be a good one. Ah, mystical damage resistance. All right, that's good. That'll be great for the final boss or uh, second to final boss. Eviterna. What's up, Sean? How you doing? All right. Well, that's the only other item we missed. So I added the blue dots. You can see the blue dots. Those are all of the symbols that we got to take care of. But there's one final one in two moons. So we will get to that. Uh, we'll start that quest once we get the two moons. We'll do the one in two moons first. And once we finish two moons, we'll clear that out. Now, the rest of this stuff, uh, we do have some coin. So why don't we take a look at the shops? I'll buy whatever I can outside of the Martyr Marks, because those are really expensive. After we do the special symbols, we'll get almost 70,000 coin for that. So we should be able to finish up all the expensive uh, Martyr Marks from that point. And then uh, after we go to the shops, we're going to do the challenge room to get the remaining maximum health. And then we'll do the lullaby. And after that, we will go to Two Moons and take care of that one. And basically wrap this game up. Let's hit the shops. Let's go shopping. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. And we'll see the uh, percent completion go up a lot. We'll take a look maybe after Two Moons to see where it's at for that. Do we have any sin? No, we can't go to the confessor. We're going to have to probably uh, end task ourselves many times towards the end of the game to complete that one. We're just too good. <laughs> Not enough guilt. <laughs> All right. What does she have here that we can... Vos señaláis. Which is... All right, yeah, we need that wax seed. Let's grab that, yoink. And what else we got? We can grab the, we can grab these, boom, boom. And boom, and boom. All right, great, so now we're just missing these two. That's fine. Aquí, entre... As far as the quest items go, right? So we have a few more of these to get few more uh, rosaries. We'll get those throughout the remainder of these areas. And at this point, we've got one, two, three, four, five wax seeds. There's one more in two moons, and then we can take care of Milkman and his quest. Wonderful. <laughs> so after two moons, we'll basically be able to wrap up all the other remaining side quests that have items therein, like the fervor one. Awesome. All right. Well, that was easy. Let's go down to the the other guy. Still got some coin. Probably buy one or two things from him. Let's see. Milk. Hashtag trauma. <laughs> uh. Alright, uh, we can't buy these 12k each. Very expensive. But that's it. Those are the last two things we can get. Might as well talk to him. I think we have to keep his uh dialogue going a bit. So he's talking about the challenge room lady. She's death herself, you know. Conquisiste temblor que me trae su muerte. 
¿Qué es este frío que siento tanto adentro como por fuera? Ya venís a por mí. Good enough. <laughs> All right, let's get back up. Oh, 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 yeah, boo, yep, I do, yep, I do. Resonances effects. Oh, anointed one, yeah. We will get those shortly. Let's go do some challenges. Yeah, we did five, find all five of the sleeping, no, sleeping girls or whatever the hell. We gotta find five of them to get the challenge rooms unlocked. You can see the five chairs hanging. So that is good. After the fourth one, we'll have all of the healing items we need, but. We'll get the fifth one anyway. Milagro, que poseéis las llaves que todo lo abren y las manos que todo lo cierran. Acoged a vuestro siervo. Penitente, que venís en busca del luto tras nuestros negros velos. Encontrad a mis hijas. Apagad la luz de los cirios que las acompañan. Okay. Solo así podréis entrar en su duelo. Que den dos clamores las campanas, pues el velatorio empieza. Let's try it up. Y nos hundiremos en un mar de luto. Yeah, I haven't even used that this entire game, so. Let's go equip him. Use it when we need it. Oof. Let's try not. Let's see what he does. Oh, he lasts a little while. Ooh. Nasty. Yeah, that's pretty good. He is quite useful. That's a long lasting prayer. It might be the longest lasting prayer in the whole game. Well, that's gonna make this very trivial. How do you just get tears for that? I don't think we really get anything else. Yeah, we never really get anything. Yeah, it cleans up everything on the, the ground level, at least, really well. We'll save that again for, like, the end of, uh, towards the end of the challenges, but very cool. Que den dos clamores las campanas, pues el velatorio empieza. Yeah, you get an altarpiece for the fifth. En un mar de luto. Nothing for the first, though. You don't really get anything. Oh, 
shit. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, he's just tanking it, dude. That is a very useful uh, assist. It's perfect for these. Challenger is perfect. So definitely a good call. Let's do it again. Oh, we're getting some good coin for this too. Crowd control. Oh, really, anytime you're in this room and you're stuck with 15 enemies, like that's the way to go. Alrighty, almost done. Two more. Clamores, 
y nos hundiremos en un mar de luto. Yeah, the ones with their own sensors. Yeah, they they're brutal. <laughs> All right, last one. Y nos hundiremos en un mar de luto. Shit. Ya tenéis lo que queríais. Marchaos. 
Con los que se creen bienaventurado, marchado. Con los que buscan el perdón mirando fuera antes que dentro, marchado. Con los falsos afligidos y los débiles de fe, marchado. Let's go get the final health upgrades. And then we'll do the lullaby. How's the guilt going? Let's see. Zero. Wonderful. <laughs> Boop. And we got a little bit more coin. I think those other figures are 12k a pop. Oh yeah, looking good. Ahora mejoraré la luz vital de vuestro interior. Si bien mi sangre no deja de manar, vuestro cuerpo no admite más de ella. Ahora os otorgaré un nuevo matraz. No caben más viales en vuestro cinto. Okay, now we're just yeah, it's filled. Now we're gonna go, come back. Fill it one more time. No PS4, huh? I wonder why. And then we got the secret health bonus. Woo! That's it. Look at that. Fanciful. Looking good, lady. I mean, I'm sure it could run on PS4. Maybe they'll get to it at a certain point, but... They probably just didn't have the resources to test. It's gotta be it. I mean, I'm sure it runs on it. All right, that's it for health. Let's get rid of this mark. Done with her. Yeah, exactly. It has to be just, they didn't have enough QA people for it. And they wanted to hit a specific release date. So that, you know, you limit it to specific consoles and go from there. All right, let's go to Profundo Lamento and do the lullaby. Look at that fat health bar. <laughs> that crash is I don't think I had one crash the entire three playthroughs now I've done on PC. But, uh, yeah, it wouldn't shock me if there's a couple of bugs, I mean. There's generally a few. Nana, mi niña. Nana. Nana, mi niña, Nana. No llores alto, que mi voz te canta. Mi niña corría por la orilla clara, bajo negras hojas, bajo largas ramas. ¿Qué viste, niña mía, en el reflejo del agua? ¿Qué se llevó tu risa? ¿Quién te robó el alma? Duerme, niña, tu sueño de plata, que yo te velaré hasta que rompa el alba. Nana, mi niña, nana, no llores fuerte, que mi voz te canta. Let's 
So you beat it, and it crashed at the end of the dream. You had to do it again. Ugh. It's surprisingly tricky just in the last, like, 30 seconds. If you don't switch the right weapons at the right time, you are screwed. <laughs> like, there's no, no coming back. Yeah, the sword just nukes them now. I think we're getting critical hits there. That's why it's like sometimes two hits, sometimes three hits. We gotta get some breathing room here. Speed up a bit. First try, wow. Woo, it's getting intense there. It's like, am I gonna do this first try? Oh, stress over, very good. All right, it's the end of that. That's another quest down now. Now, let's just go back to town real quick. Uh, what do we got for coin? We almost have enough to buy the last two things from here. But um, we could do that after... Why don't we just do that after two moons? I think we're ready for that now. The question marks are relating to the uh, curse, except for this one. This one relates to where we got to go at the end of the special symbols, which are the blue marks. All right, everything else is pointing us to two moons. So let's go there. <coughs> this is great. Second to last area, we got everything we need. We got the oil for what's her face. Yeah, the, the whole mirror concept is definitely tricky. All right, we'll just go to the whole ground floor first. Clear all this out.
thought the whole game was going to be upside down. Yeah, that would be something. <laughs> Not yet, though. Double check here. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. You can go up. Boop, boop, boop. All right, great. And the ground floor is all set. You can just race through this. How many we got now, right? Eleven. Oh, excellent. Oops, let's see. I think we got the. Da, 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 da. There's something else here. Increases fire damage. Oh, let's do this. Increases damage taken when counterattacking with any weapon. That's right, a given. Base defense a given. Increases the base damage of this thing. That's a given. Let's see. Increases lightning damage. Yeah, why not? All right. Now let's do some of this. Let's see. Causes damage to an area of effect. That's okay. Addition to chain attack. Increases fire damage inflicted. That's a cool one. We'll do this one. This one. Oh, increases the base. Okay, we just need one more to get the base damage up on this. Right. Cool. Yeah, we're getting through this. Not too much more. We still have a lot left. We have eight more marks just uh, from leveling. And again, we're going to have to farm or something. I doubt we're going to... Usually it's around 34, 35 by the time we get to, like, Crimson Rain. So we can farm. Get the last five. That way we can face Evanita with maxed out everything, you know? All right, awesome. Yeah, I'll save up for that base damage. I want that base damage on the uh, sensor. Get up there. Now, before we do this, there's another room over here. Again. I believe I do. Yeah, we got both the marks to get that up as fast as possible. You really know you need those equipped the entire game, except for specific boss fights. Ba boom! This is an excellent one. So this does uh, significantly increases resistance to all physical damage. This is the best physical damage block. So we have this one here, which does slight resistance. It's just like a one. One shield. This one is a two. So why don't we replace this with this? Boom. We got even more defense. And this does just general elemental resistance. So pretty good. It's a good set to have just for in general all right so now we can do the first inversion 
Because we are done with everything we can get to so far. I love this. This is such a good idea. <laughs> such a good idea. Get up here. Now, this area was confounding at first, but we're just going to leave it about here. And we'll come back to it. Let's see what's over here. Simon's quest. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, crap. Let's press dash, jump. Dash, jump, jump. Jump, dash. Oh! Oh, fried like a mosquito. Jump, dash, jump. Jump, dash, jump. Jump, dash, jump. Jump, dash, jump. Here we go. Jump, dash, jump. Oh, yeah. This does uh, resistance to lightning damage. Pretty good. That's great for the next boss we're going to hit. And then we got a couple left. I believe the only ones we're missing are relating to the Confessor. Because we are not dying enough. We have, like, no guilt. Literally 0%. <laughs> So what does they have to offer cells later on? All right, cool. That's that room. We have to come back here later to get that item over there. Let's see. Let's see what's over this way first. Are there enemies over here or not? Just gotta get there. Ugh, worthless tears. Yeah, that's right. It's like Bloodstain is like the spiritual successor. But the devs couldn't get the rights to everything else, so they did that instead. Oh, shit. Different spell. Just because we get, you see that chair way off in the left corner. We're gonna have to try to get to that. All right, now let's return to this. There's no way to get there yet. Let's see, so we've done that. That's fine. We can't get to that block for now, so we will just keep going. Look at that, 32, 33. We'll find the last cherub not far off.
What? Oh, BS. Why <laughs> can't they survive that? Let's see. Nice. Okay, we got another inversion room there. But we can keep... Oh, we can't go any further for now. Alright, awesome. That's everything so far. Let's invert again. Let's go down. Alright, I think we got enough marks now to get the damage upgrade. Where is it? Increases base damage. Yes! Charge attacks, miasma damage, that'll be a good one too. Alright. We did it. That is all cherubs done. Done, 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 done. Hell yeah. And we're basically done with that, so that's good news. And now we can go up. Doing great. And here's what's her face. I'll give her the oil finally so she doesn't die. Penitente, nos acercamos al encuentro con la señora. Mi lanza no está preparada. Necesita de una última bendición. Necesito vuestro amparo para encontrar el santo óleo. Con el que ungiré mi lanza ornamentada. Así la mentira de la señora será débil a las embestidas de mi lanza. Mi lanza ya brilla con el fulgor de los óleos. Siento que mi búsqueda llega a su fin. Señora de las mentiras. Artesana de malas sombras, sé que moráis en estas galerías, detrás de espejos engañosos. Mi lanza está ahora preparada para llevaros a vuestro verdadero sepulcro. Penitente, sois libres de acompañarme o continuar en soledad. ¿Os uniréis a mí en este enfrentamiento final? Por fin. Allí me encontraréis. Y en comunión lucharemos. Oh, yeah. So we got a mirror room here. This one's busted. We'll find a opposite room shortly. And that's going to get us to the second curse. All right. 
right, got that open. Hooray. Yep, we did everything there. Last inversion, I believe. God damn, I think it's like a brick. Now we're in like the mirror version of this. Oops, we got a puzzle here. Let's do this side first. to go all the way around okay that's right so while we're here this is the, we'll call this the first of the symbols, because that's the first one we're going to do. So we've got the other ones, again, go to the map. The blue dots, these are the other symbols that we're going to have to evoke. And we can do that using this prayer, Chime of the Twisted One.
So that's one of ten. And we'll get back to that. Huzzah. Okay, now we can just climb up this way to get this. Okay. That's what I need to do. Covered. Here's the mirror. Okay, so this is the second part of the curse. You just have to get yourself in the mirror and duck. Just wait a second. And we get the second sealed envelope. Let's read it. Beep, beep, ba -doop, boop. So some of these hints are good. Some of them are kind of obscure, and you're not really going to have any idea. So this one says, And seeking some quiet corner in which to reflect upon my sins, I stumbled across a seemingly abandoned ancient and sacred place. Within it, a great pit lay before me, over which I stood until a sudden breeze emanating from that dark void startled me. This gust of wind that bore aloft delicate violet petals forewarned the coming of a terrible scream, a horrifying wail that chilled my skin and paralyzed my very being. What tortured soul could scream in such a way? The very beginning of the game, right to the right of the confessor, you hear that scream. So that's where we're gonna go after we're done with all this for the third part of this quest. Kind of neat. It's got to go up here. This is what triggers the boss. We can get in the boss room. It's also what triggers the death of the uh, that NPC in green if you don't give her the oil in time. There is a little bit more to explore because we need to go find. Uh, there should be a shrine down here somewhere, so we're gonna have to backtrack a bit. That's all right. another mark. What's that get us up to now? We got another one, three. Yeah, the sword's done. Sword is done. All right. Increase my asthma damage. All right, cool. Let's get that. Boom. Really from here on out, I think we're just going to work on the sensor, kind of max this out. There's not a lot here for this. That's great. We got the damage upgrade, so we're good. What in the hell? And we got another mark. All right, great. So now we got that. We're just missing this over here. Should really just go back and get that. 
And we're just about good. We gotta get that last puzzle before we fight the boss. The one where we have to find the warp. We gotta move everything over. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Tricky puzzle had me stumped initially. But I figured it out. And here we go. So that's definitely necessary. Uh, looks like there's a little bit more to explore to the right. And we got the final wax seed. One, two, three, four, five, six. So guess what we're going to go do after this one? That's right, we're going to the milkman. Alright, that's pretty much it. We've opened up everything. So awesome. And this just goes over this way, so we've explored everything. Everything's looking good. I don't see any other blocks. This gets resolved once we beat the boss. I'll just go back down. Let's go back to that warp. Yeah, that's one of the things that... Um, one of the things I noticed is the almost majority of all walkthroughs, no matter what they are, whether it's this game or other games, they don't really... There's not much commentary. There's a million channels that just do no commentary walkthroughs, which is fine. But, uh, I don't know, I really care about this game. It means a lot to me, and I like talking about all the things you gotta do, what and where, when, and how. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool. I like chat with you guys, too. This is kind of neat, since the first game I didn't have chat or anything. I just kind of recorded it myself, rambling to the microphone. And now I can talk to you guys as we go through it. And that's what'll end up being in the uh, the final edited walkthrough that I'll put together this week. All right, so now we're gonna travel. We're gonna go back to basically where we were. We gotta go in. We gotta move that. We're gonna move that a little bit. So we can solve that last puzzle, which I think is a martyr mark. So we're gonna need it. Oh my god. Is it? Where is it? It's actually... It is one of these inverted areas, but where... I think it's this. Alright, so we'll go up. Go back down over there. There we go. Come on up. Ah! You bastards. Alright, so now you want to line this so it's pretty much like this. Now we're not going to be able to get it. So we're going to have to go find a shrine. Basically just invert. And now we can go... What is the quickest way to a shrine? Go down... Down to the left, down to the right.
So again, this is really one of the trickier puzzles because you have to set that switch, and then you gotta warp out, and then you gotta work your way around again. Uh, and so the best way to do that, we go up, okay, we'll go to the right, we'll go up, to the left, up, to the right. We should get back there. Try not to screw this up. And there we go. Oh, it's the last fervent kiss. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. Right, now I can actually level up uh, fervor all the way. I suppose we could do that before the boss fight. Yeah, why not? Why not be incredibly overpowered? Yeah, right, so we gotta backtrack to get back to the... Actually, no, we can just do this. This is easier. Just invert again. Now we just go down and to the right, down and to the right. Let's go get our maximum fervor. That way we're super OP for this uh, fifth death boss. Penitente lleno de ignorancias. I love that. Penitent one full of ignorance. <laughs> Gracias a mi auxilio y a mi férrea voluntad divina, vuestro fervor ha llegado a la máxima capacidad. Podéis marchar. Llevad vuestros ingratos pasos a otros lugares. <laughs> Take your ungrateful steps elsewhere. <laughs> but we are not done. We are not done. The confessor's got a thing or two to say about that guy. Let's go see him. He's upset as he's a hand. <laughs> Proclamarse inmaculado y santo del milagro sin serlo. There are few sins more heinous than that of falsely proclaiming oneself immaculate and a saint of the miracle. Tomad esta llave y abrid las cámaras que guarda tal usurpador de la santidad. Take this key and open the chambers that this usurper of holiness guards. So that unlocks the door right behind the hand. Penitente, retornad cuando la culpa os queme la sien. Mi propósito os hará liberaros de vuestra carga. <coughs> All right, let's go back. What's interesting is if you if you kneel to him, okay, 
then after all the fervor upgrades, he just disappears. So you can't get this max fervor. So you have to not kneel four times when it, when it prompts you. Otherwise, you'll miss out on the, the bonus fervor. And we get another mark. What have you done? My secret. My secret has been discovered. My secret's been unearthed. Yo solo quería, quería ser la única, la única que daría consuelo a tantos desamparados. I only wanted to be the one, the only one who would offer comfort to so many helpless people. Solo yo podía ser la verdadera. Las demás no me dejaban. Decían que no era suficientemente santa. Only I could be the true one. The others, they wouldn't let me. They claimed I was not saintly enough. What have I done, O oh, my parishioners? Where are you? Forgive me, penitent one in righteousness. For your feet I prostrate myself. Oh, penitente, siento la absolución en el abismo que es vuestro silencio. Oh, penitent one, I feel absolution in the abyss that is your silence. Que mi gratitud os sea infinita. May my gratitude to you be everlasting. Ahora seré yo quien me poste ante todos los ferigreses en señal de profundo y sincero arrepentimiento. Now it is I who shall prostrate myself before all the parishioners as a sign of my deep and sincere repentance. Boom. Bonus fervor. Look at that. We are maxed to the nines. Ahora seré yo. All right, huzzah, that's it. We got both bonus fervor and health. We didn't screw it up. Hell yeah. High five. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, realign. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Where is it? There we go. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep the physical ones there. We'll take off uh, these two. I want to say it's lightning. Maybe lightning and mystical. Mystical damage. I don't think it's anything else. We'll change this one too to elemental. Because I don't know. I don't know what else this is, but. Might as well. This is going to nuke us, so we got to be pretty careful. It's still a tough boss, and I do recommend the sword for this one. I'm also going to change the prayer. Let's go with Debella. Oh, I walked right into it. Still got hit? Come on. Nice. 
That was good. Definitely a good combo for those rosaries for that one. El cuerpo de la señora yace ante nuestros victoriosos pies. Su maldición y la de este lugar han acabado. Mi promesa se ha visto cumplida gracias a vuestro favor. Penitente, antes de que vuestro camino continúe, Tomad antes esto como señal de nuestro bienaventurado vínculo. Adiós, penitente en la más recta de las sendas. Ooh, four marks. Hell yeah. Pronto este sarcófago de cristal se abrirá. La reliquia de mi lengua incorrupta y sus secretos ahora serán vuestros. Así pues, esta sombra nada más puede daros. Marcho ahora a aquel lugar que está entre la luz y ninguna parte. Esta será nuestra despedida. Paloma. Que del azabache tomáis el color. Abandonad ahora vuestra cárcel de oro. For end game. Just about. El corazón descendido acorta irrefrenablemente el tiempo de descanso entre sus estruendosos latidos y nos anuncia así el inminente nacimiento del nuevo hijo. Apurad vuestros pasos hasta su encuentro, penitente. Yay. All right, now we can do. Let's go do all of the mark locations. It's another quest we got to wrap up, and we'll get some money, and then we can buy everything from the shops and be done with that. Start here. All right, so now we're just going to. Oh, we got something new. Great. Let's equip that chime. Chime of the twisted one. Right here. You can see right on the bed stand. The headboard the bed. Alright, that's the second one. Take the mark off. Let's go clockwise. There's one over here. You 
can see it right here. Number three. All right, next one is right over here. Yeah, we can just take this one. I think this is faster. Oh, sorry, we have to take the other one. That's right, I was thinking this was like mothers of mothers, but nope. Gotta go here, gotta drop down, go to the left. see this but it's in the spider web up here like come on <laughs> seriously This will finish up the curse quest because it's pretty straightforward. All right, then we'll go. Let's see. The next one is over here. I guess this is close enough. This one's kind of obscure, but it's right here. You can kind of see it in the twisted roots. We can take that off the map. Just another cool detail so, detail, so now you can see the city. So that's the uh, the two moons area that we were just at. Early in the game, you only see the reflection in the lake. Now it's there. Very cool. I love the detail. I love the detail. It's so cool. All right. That's that. What else we got? We got one down here. On the old twisted tree itself. You see it right here. That's another one down. Anything down here? Nope. Next we go into the sea. A little tricky, but this statue is holding the symbol. Yeah. All right, next we gotta go back to the very beginning of the game. Right where we start. It's right on our coffin.
Let's get right there. Did you get achievements for standing at the last shrine for a minute? Yeah, if you stand, it's in the Mother of Mothers, right? Just about where we were. That's right where the tree is. That's the Mother of Mothers. Yeah. So, like, if you stand right here for a minute, you'll get to hear dialogue from the first game. <clears throat> like, remembrances. And you do get an achievement for that. So, you just stand there and listen. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, I platinum this uh, a few days ago. Did everything. This will be my third 100% run. I did the second one off stream, just to try to memorize things. Did pretty good. I think we only missed one thing that I, you know, made sure I double checked this morning. Not too bad. That's like out of a hundred items you got to memorize locations for. I only forgot one. I didn't even really forget it. I just forgot to put a marker. All right, so we're almost done here. Let me just take that off. Boop. All right, anything else down here? Doop a doop a doo. Doop a doo. I think we just have one. Up, oh, we got two left. There's one in the middle of town. And then there's one up here. I think we just go left. Gotta go up somehow. Okay. Connect over there, all right. Too high, all right. Well, this is another thing you gotta do for a hundred percent. It's kind of a quest, it's a side quest, but you get a ton of money. So unlike the first game, where you had to grind and grind to get, like, enough cash for all the items, and the symbols up there, it's kind of difficult to see. This game gives you a little quest, and you find the 10 things, and you get 69k. Yeah, exactly, Sean. Alright, take that off, and then because I'm lazy, I am just going to use this to return home. Back to the chime. And now the last one is up at the very top of this uh, church tower thing. It's the bell we hit earlier. You can see it on the bell. All good. <coughs> Oops. Oh, I know a milkman's calling. He will he will get his seeds shortly. We just gotta wrap this up to get some cash. Alright, let's switch back to a good prayer. All right, now we're going to do... We're going to travel to... Oh, actually, we can take the... Instead of traveling this way, we'll take the warp. The warp is right next to this room. And we'll see how flush with cash we get. 
basically get everything we need. So when you go back to this room, there will be all highlighted. Right. So those are the 10 we found. Plus 69k. This is going to go up for a while. <laughs> Just sit here for a second. Look at that. Should get us about 100k or more. All right, 117k. Now we can basically just clear out the. Let's go here. I'm gonna buy everything from the shops. I'm gonna buy the stuff from the dead guy first, because he should give us another item at this point. Maybe not. There is like a minor thing to do for him at the very end. It doesn't seem to count towards 100% though, but we're gonna try to do it anyway. important thing to think about when it comes to this dude is anything that uh like quest items that you don't get this guy's gonna sell them so because we saved the the green bow staff lady we got a different item from her if she dies this is what is left on her corpse that we can get so this dude sells the difference right whatever you don't get he sells um any of those uh, missable quest items throughout the game, so grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Habéis adquirido la última de mis mercancías. Sin embargo, nunca sabemos cuándo el milagro nos otorgará nuevas bendiciones. Oh. Cuánta muerte a mi alrededor. Quantas larvas procesionam? Quantas moscas? Nada queda. Oh, quantas larvas? Quantas... I'll just try chatting to him and see if we can get. He gives us a necklace. But... Quantas larvas? Quantas moscas? Maybe we have to hit. Um... Quantas larvas? Quantas moscas? Maybe we gotta hit Crimson Rain first. Let's go buy the remainder from the shop. <coughs> We're done. Done with the items we gotta buy. And anything left over will just be for the guilt. Gotta spend some money to remove all the guilt. Mm, good. Boss señala. Habéis adquirido el último de mis productos. Os ofrezco mis reverencias. En mi escaparate ya no quedan más enseres que ofreceros. Mis disculpas. Right. All right, let's just equip something good. All right, let's go do... Oh, yeah, before we do Milkman, before we do Milkman, just while we're here. Let's continue on with the curse. That's all I gotta do. 
And let's just kind of get over here and stand here. Same kind of thing, you just wait. Let me read it. This is a little tricky. Um, boop -a doop -a doo It mentions somewhere. Something about the Cyclops, I think. Lying broken around next to many walls. Encounter my travels. Do 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 do. Oh, okay. This is where we go back to Mother Mother's. He talks about a wall that you can't get to. And the wall is down here. Let me just get rid of this. Boop. The wall is this thing. Also, we can get rid of this. We finished that quest. So the wall's down here. It's a bit fast travel. So I mentioned it a couple streams back, back when we were doing mother, uh, Mothers. That you just can't get to this one spot. Until you are progressed further enough in the the curse quests. Yeah, just gotta go this way. And then you can hit it, I think it's three times. And now it opens. You also need to do this because it completes parts of the map. Like we didn't have this before. Now we're at 94%, you know. Now we got another sealed letter. So this is a little tricky. Uh, looked up from the ground of Blurred Out, but beneath, beneath its skull, fleshless relic that still scrutinizes all with its last living eye like a grim cyclops. So what they're referring to is actually the storefront. Again, this is very obscure. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but... And it's also very strange, you can't... This is one of the ones I've never been able to do it just by standing there. Like, standing in front of the shop, you have to, like, run back and forth. It's so weird. So there's the... You know, it's got one eye like a cyclops, right? And you literally just run back and forth. It's so weird. How would you know that? All right, so he tells, talks about the sea breeze. And so the last part is this nice... Take that off. Nice little uh, view. View of the ocean. And this is another thing, you gotta do this to get 100% because at the last step we're gonna get a really great prayer. It's probably one of the most OP and broken in the entire game. And so now that we've read all the curses, we just do this. The curse of the Unforgiven has been lifted. And with it... Now, we can stop time. <laughs> It's a hell of a prayer. All right, let's get back home. We can remove that. All right, so that's another quest done. I believe all we have left is Milkman. Get rid of that. Let's make sure we got no other icons on the map. Don't think we do. And then we can go do Milkman, and that's that's it. And we'll see what we got getting into uh, into that. 
final area that we need to traverse. Okay, the milkman is up here. And we're at 34 of 40, about the same as last time. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we got the rosaries. We're just missing one, and that is the confessor's going to give us that as we get more guilt and all that. But we're going to change this up. We can remove these. We're going to put our um, martyr farming ones back on. And, you know, that's probably fine. Yeah, we can do the physical resist with uh, this. Yeah, that's a good setup. Well, now you know why you got my farming run. I'll show you why it's so good. Look at that. That filled up pretty quick. Uh, it usually takes like two to three runs to go up a level. So it's not terrible. It's going to take us maybe 10 minutes to get to 40. And uh, we're going to need it. We have eight right now. Let's give us another six. Like it was 14. Yeah, they're easy to miss these quests. Super easy to miss. Like, how the hell would you know how to do the symbols? How would you know how to do the curse? You know, they're really obscure. Without a walkthrough, I don't know how the hell you would figure it out on your own. <laughs> really don't. Ah, oh, everybody's favorite NPC. Let's get planting some seeds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Por cada semilla, una hermana de cera vendrá. Invocadlas todas para que se apiaden de mi hijo. <laughs> For 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 Por cada se invocad las to. Hijo mío, ahora estáis libre del castigo. Mi cuerpo se derretirá y formará parte de esta alta torre que podréis contemplar desde la lejanía. Y yo os contemplaré a vos a través de sus almenas. Y con las hermanas. Hijo mío. Penitente. Tomad esta prueba de agradecimiento. Salvado corazón sea. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
And that's the end of Milkman. So it does give us something we're going to take back to the sculptor. But yeah, this is it. This is this is the point I do just recommend farming. And of all the areas in the game, I found that this one is pretty easy. And it's right next to a uh, shrine, so it's pretty good to reset and just go through it again and again and again. So if we look at it, you know, let's see if we can unlock it or get towards the the end of 34 in this this run. Maximum. Let's go back to the city. Let's turn in that uh, altarpiece. Whoo, man. Tedious. A vuestro servicio estoy. He labrado una nueva. El milagro es guarda. We also got to turn in the cherubs. We haven't done that yet. So let's make that happen. Just about done with it, but we got a couple left. And at this point, you don't got to farm anything else. <laughs> Nothing else. So you can just skip over all the enemies. Now it's just rush mode. Penitente de inflexible voluntad. Mis hermanos y yo os estamos agradecidos. Mirad cómo se elevan, como si el peso de sus cuerpos les hubiera sido arrebatado, y con él, sus pesares. El camino ahora está completado. Lo más alto de este jardín nos espera. That's good climbing. Yes. There's still something up this way. Yet another altar piece. Vuestros actos nos llenan de dicha penitente. Siempre hallaréis hogar en este jardín. A vuestra caridad nos entregamos.
All right, let's just warp back home again. A vuestro servicio estoy. He labrado una nueva pieza. El milagro. <coughs> okay. So at this point, we don't have that yet. We have to buy that from a merchant up ahead in Crimson Rains. And that's the Confessor one. Crisanta is also at the very end. So the only thing really left to do is the Confessor. Let's see if we can max this out. We should have just about this two more marks in Crimson Rain. So we should just about have everything we need to kind of max out at least one of these. Yeah, still a couple left here. We have one. I think hopefully that'll do it. Very close. Good God. Don't think we missed any. All right, so the Confessor, this is stupid at this point, but we're just going to have to end task ourselves to get more guilt. And it's really, it seems to be about the number of times that you need to confess more than anything else. So you just have to, like, do this, and then you confess, and just do it again. Deseáis entonces sea, pues. El sacramento ahora. Let's go to Crimson Rain. Let's also adjust our altar pieces a bit. There's a couple that I really liked. Uh, let's see. I want to say there's something we can get a slightly different vibe out of this. Let's see. You know, what does this do? Increases the strength. Don't really care. Where's Fat Boy? It was like this one and... Actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll pair as well with this. Let's find something that does. Yeah, whatever. Holds the passage of time. Talking about flash regenerates a good amount of fervor. I don't really care for that. health after execution. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change these out. I'm going to change them to this. And I think this pairs with this dude. Yeah. So we can increase the strength of that. That's a good one. And then there was another one. We, um... Let's not take a look at another save, because I have this other combo that was crazy. It spawned, like, angels around us or something. I'm not sure what the pairing was. So why don't we just take a look at what we got left. All right, so we're at 93%. Just about 12 hours. Almost done. But I just want to check this out, because I had something that was really cool. Let's see. Might have been these two. 
increase any source of elemental damage. Let's try that. So let's face guy and creature dude. Increase any source of elemental damage. Let's do... Where's the face guy? This guy... This one. There we go. So now we got these four resonances. I think that'll do us well. Basically, strength of all the weapons improves... And we get source of elemental damage also goes up. All right. So again, 93%, 94% map. All right. And there's a few left. A few more marks that we get. And then we get uh, marks from Evanato, Evaterno. Sweet. All right, let's do it. All right, now, jeez, now we're prepared. <laughs> Takes like a freaking hour. Also, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a preset. Create new, so that's our setup. So we do have to change it out to find the last thing here, but we'll do that after we beat Evanato, Evaterno, whatever the hell his name is. So that's a secret door to the true ending. I'll do that in a bit. Lo más alto os da la bienvenida. Arriba, tenebrosas nubes se concentran y giran como terribles danzas sinuosas. El hijo ha nacido. Echad un vistazo a nuestro escaparate. All right. No nos quedan existencias, Penite. Okay, that's one of the last things we do need to buy. Now let's see if the Confessor changes. I'm very curious to see what event causes that change. Yep, that's the last rosary. Now we got all the rosaries, we're good. Nothing left for quest items. We get all the prayers. We're just missing the confessor and Grisanta. Una nueva flor sobre mi manto es vuestra. Siento la culpa entrar en mí, acompañada de fríos temblores. Y mi mente aparece dormida, sumisa. Os seguiré sirviendo como así dicta mi propósito. Penitente, retornad mi propósito. Penitente, mi propósito. Let's try getting through Crimson Rain, come back. Actually, does it change now? Let's see. Now we got the item. Nope. Okay. Everything turns to ash at some point, so. All right, let's do this. Yeah, see, we got this, like, angel ring now, whenever we get hit. All right, 
right, that's that side taken care of. That's the first bit done. I want to say the next bit we have to kind of go up and around. take those guys out because they'll just follow you the entire way. Switch to a different prayer. Let's use this thing again. Pretty useful. that does. It's a hell of a resonance. Ooh, that was pretty close. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go this way. Yep, so this is the bit that connected uh, to the left. It's right. Alright, there's just one more area here. Oh, we missed this bit. What? Come on. How the hell did we miss that? one bit of map. How the hell did we miss it? It doesn't make any sense. It's like right straight up. <laughs> Ooh. Frustrating. We got it now. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> How the hell did that not trigger? Weird. All right, so we have to go left initially, and then we kind of work our way back down to the right. But.
Oh my god. That was close. Alright, so now we can go back. Go down. Slightly deceitful. But that's the last mortar mark we can find. That should be the last one. Very hopeful I didn't miss any. We'll go back down and get the rest of that map in just a second. It's gonna heal. to the top. did it. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Almost there. Alright, so we're just missing Crisanta and Confessor. Perfect. I'm not gonna lock this one. Yeah, perfect. I think he gives us five. I think that's it. This is three and then three. So he should give us the rest of this. But we got everything else max. We're only gonna need the sword and the sensor for this. We are gonna cheese him. And I think what I'll do is I'll splice like how not to cheese him if there's enough time in this uh, walkthrough from the blind playthrough we did. All right, also should set up our rosaries. We don't need martyr marks anymore we'll get rid of this. I wanna say this dude is all mystical. So we'll do mystical, we'll do... I don't think it's really lightning. I think he's all mystical. Let's just assume he's mystical. So we'll do mystical, mystical. Defense, defense. And what is that? Lightning? Or elemental? Yeah, that's probably sufficient enough for this dude. Let's do it. Esta espera. Esta interminable espera ha sido mi penitencia. La penitencia original, tan antigua como el milagro mismo. La que me nombró primero entre los penitentes. Perpetuo por su gracia. Perpetuo para guardaros esta eternidad. Milagro mío, atended mi ruego. Otorgadme vuestra bendición para cumplir con vuestra santa encomienda. Cubrid mi cuerpo con heridas. Lacerad el pergamino ajado que cubre mi carne. Pues soy el primer penitente, y vos seréis el último. And we're going to change out the prayer. Alright, here's how we cheese him. Aún no ha terminado. 
in between his attacks, you want to freeze time and just wail on him with the mace. Down attack. Rinse, repeat. Might take us a few tries, we'll see. Say cheese him. Five marks. <clears throat> El hijo ha nacido. Las nubes se abren ante vos y derraman lágrimas carmesí. Comienza así la obra del alto dramaturgo. All right. Now let's go to the confessor. At this point, he should be corrupted by guilt. Hopefully. Otherwise, we still need to end task ourselves a few more times. He's not. Oh my god. Penitent, mi propósito. Oh, we gotta be close. <laughs> this is the curse of being good at the game. You have to. You have to die in this game. They expect you to die. Let's at least get the Crescenta Remembrance. Él habrá dado una nueva. El milagro. All right. <clears throat> Now I just got to get more guilt. That's the only thing we have left to do. Ah, uh, the map is at 99 because we haven't opened the door yet. This one. Not one block. 
so we're gonna do the bad ending and the good ending because it wouldn't be thorough without doing both. So we'll beat the boss once after we do the guilt stuff here. The final boss, that is. And the final boss, we can cheese him just like we did Evanerto. Eviterno, whatever his name is. So it shouldn't be too bad. We gotta be in close to 10 times. It's gotta be close. Oh yeah, we can do the dead guy as well. Don't want to forget about his weird little thought quest. Yes, finally, finally, everything's dead. I wonder if his voice changes for the Spanish version. Let's see. Contemplar la cáscara vacía de vuestro confesor, penitente. Él pagó el precio de mi liberación con su carne frágil, con su piel marchita. Él aún permanece. Sin embargo, su voz es ahora la mía. Una última recompensa os ofrezco a cambio de que continuéis saciándome de vuestras culpas. Yes. ¿Volvéis a alimentarme de vuestra culpa, penitente? Continuad ahora, liberado de mi carga. Oh, finally. Let's get that remembrance. A vuestro El abrado una. El milagro es bueno. Now you get two cherubs. Pretty neat. If you have guilt, you can confess here. You don't have to go all the way back to uh, the confessor, but it only gives you the option if you have guilt. All right, so that's done. Yippee. Now we're going to go back to what's-his-face down here. Because at this point, he should give us an item. Because as far as the game is concerned, like... It doesn't care if you beat the final boss. It just knows you got to it. Like, there's no state after you beat him. Penitente. Here we go. Debo pediros un inmerecido favor. Antes de que me llegue mi último temblor, devolved este colgante a donde ya nadie vela. A la habitación solamente habitada por los pasos resonantes de la soledad. So this is another super obscure thing you need to do. So it's back over here where you got the first uh, shard. You'll have an option now. I think the assumption is this is the death lady, the challenge room lady. He steals her pendant and he's cursed forever, so you're returning the pendant. somehow frees him from all the immortality. And he doesn't give you anything for this, but he does have a little bit of dialogue and do wrap up his story arc, so we'll complete it. Oh, 
Dios que me cegáis aún llenándome de pleno gozo. ¿Sois acaso la vida? La misma que abre al fin los candados de mis rejas herrumbrosas, liberándome de mi condena. That's it. The light shines in finally. He no longer says anything. Can't interact with him. That's it. Change that back to stopping time. And again, we have 99% of the map because of that one block. And if we go to look at the status, 99%. 99% of both. Ugh. All right, let's do Pilgrimage. Start a brand new game right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So just started me on over here. Right, 99. The cheese kind of works. It's kicking my butt. Oh, you know what we need to do? Let's see. Oh, we have increased strength there. We got that. Why don't we get rid of this? I mean, healing isn't really helping us out. Let's do the thing with like more fervor per attack, really push that over the edge. Let's see. Let's heal relative to the damage inflicted. Interesting. Damage dealt when bomb blasts are depleted. Increases the damage of prayers. Put the alchemist and sensor damage figures together. Okay. Where's the alchemist? Alchemist and all right, the sensor damage. Where is it? Do to do to do. There we go. Toxic and sense causing it blows to create clowns of miasma. Ooh. Oh yeah. Venomous resin. Okay. Let's see what this does. This is as long as it's ever taken me to beat him, but I think it's just trying to get this timing right with the sensor. It's the hardest part. superior padres incorpóreos e inescrutables soy el heredero de vuestra luz la devoción misma encarnada en piel y dorada filigrana 
vuestra obra magna. ¿Por qué, pese a ser coronado con vuestra gloria, censuráis mi presencia junto a vosotros? ¿Qué es esta oscura tiniebla de clamores sin respuesta que me impide conocer el propósito de mi nacimiento? Son las mismas nubes granate que anunciaron mi bienvenida el grave presagio de vuestra contestación. Si este enfrentamiento es prueba de la dignidad de vuestra gloria, ¡que así sea! Did the trick. <laughs> that was way stronger this time. That's the bad ending. Let's finish this. I'm really digging that preset. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna go down, open the secret door. We gotta put them on first, or it doesn't work. So the way you open the door, you gotta set this up. And you gotta change these so that they all are these four figures that point towards the center. Just like that. That's what you gotta do. Now let's open this up. Now 
that's the item we need for the good ending. Interesting. Right, let's go to the presets and apply. Got the same thing set up again. Save here. 100% map. 100% map. That little block was what we were missing. And if we go to the main menu, we're at 100%. 100%. So you don't need to beat the final boss, but, you know, if you go in the room and get the item, you get to 100%, but then you're locked into the good ending. So, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, 12 hours to get to 100%. Very good. I bet that's... I mean, I feel like that's about as good as it can be. We died a few times with the boss. Uh, but still, maybe there's like half hour to 40 minutes to shave off with like um, farming and stuff like that, but I feel like that's... that's it. All right, so let's get the good ending, and we're done. Just gotta do that again. This time you give the envoy. And you say, yep. I hope that the initial dialogue changes, but let's see. superior padres la devoción no it's the same Generate. <laughs>
La devoción de tantos se hizo carne y sintió dolor. Esa aflicción llega a su fin. Pues el icono cae y con él los designios y la caprichosa voluntad del milagro. Y vos ascenderéis en cuerpo y alma, atravesando reinos soñados, hasta el más santo de los lugares, cuna de todas las bendiciones, al amparo de nuestras miradas, donde quedaréis plasmado en el lienzo de la luz y el tiempo. La penitencia ha terminado. Again, 100%. It's definitely my best time. This was like over a day and it just rolls over. <laughs> it doesn't show you how many days it took, so... It must have been 26 hours to get through that first stream. Goddamn. And then I just like ending here. But that's it. 100% map, everything found. Max uh, martyr points, max health, fervor, bioflask, map, beads, quest items, max prayers, all collected. And then every sent well, these are burned ash now. But everything else, all the altar pieces. And all the weapon upgrades. That's it, we did it. All right. Done. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching this extensive Blasphemous 2 walkthrough. Hopefully it helped you get to 100%, and if it did, we can return the favor by clicking the buttons to help me out. Really appreciate you taking the time to check this out today. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.